Hey, Vajona. <clears throat> Hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. Okay. So yesterday, we had just finished our Spearmaster playthrough in Downpour, which came out yesterday. Uh, I had started playing as the Gourmand off, off stream. That was interesting. <laughs> um, that cute little cat with the moon. And yeah, the Rivulet is the next one I wanted to play as. Breathes underwater and moves through the world with ease. These adaptations are essential as you'll be pitted against a world of increasingly frequent floods where time is of the essence. It says increasingly frequent floods, which makes me think there may be a hunter-esque... Where am I? Oh! Okay, can I eat him? Okay, this is a weaker cat. Oh, but we get so much water movement. Holy shit. Okay, that's an interesting food cost requirement. We get almost nothing for next time. Oh, we are fast as fuck underwater. Holy shit. I don't know if you guys caught that when I was boosting. It said we can breathe underwater, so I think we don't have to worry about losing breath if we boost underwater. Which means... Oh, we are fast as fuck. It's raining already? Holy shit. Uh, there's whatever that thing is. Karma flower. Okay, goddamn. Uh. I think this is also... I have the most mobility as this slug cat. I seem to move faster here than with the other ones. Um. Okay. We have really short time. But we move very fast as this cat. Uh, is this scavenger gonna hate me? I don't know what happened. I don't wanna... No, he seems content enough. Oh, no he doesn't. He was totally trying to throw a spear at me there. Uh, okay. We have an insane amount of mobility as the slug cat. We're in drainage system. Fuck, where's the... Okay, good. This is the shelter. Okay, normally drainage system kind of sucks because the water sections are really annoying, but we are going to be able to navigate them pretty well as this cat, I think. I'm concerned about the increasingly frequent floods, especially the word increasingly. Okay, well, we'll try to make our way out. Yeah, like, look at that timer. That is no time at all. It's already starting to rain. Now, we are an aquatic cat. Uh, let me... Oh, God. I don't fucking remember drainage system is the problem. We are very fast. This kind of feels like speedrunner cat. Not gonna lie. Uh, okay. I 
don't know where I'm going. I don't know the drainage system. God, I haven't been here in forever. I don't go to drainage system because it fucking sucks here. <laughs> Uh, there's a pearl. I think that's one of those new lizards. And what is this? A new plant? Is it food? Can I eat it? Okay, it's a new type of food. I don't trust it. Whoa, that didn't hit it? Okay, uh... Why did that not hit that? Fuck. Swimmy lizard. Fuck. Uh. This cat is so fast paced. Okay. Uh, let's try down. I don't know where we could be going to in the drainage system. Uh, hold on, what? How do I? Oh, fuck, we have to go up here. So I think we just have to get in the mindset of the rain not really mattering that much? Which feels weird. But, like, if we can survive underwater, then it shouldn't really matter. Hold on. Is this... Cyclic floods? Like... The floods are happening on a cycle? Like... Not... The way it normally works, right, is flood happens and then... Flood remains happening until you hit a shelter. But it kind of feels like, based on the fact that my timer just reset, the floods are coming and then going. And they're not staying here the whole time. Which is really interesting. Which means it kind of removes the whole time pressure to have to rest. area either. Can I go up here? Oh, it's about to start raining again. Let's look up here. We're so agile as this cat. The mobility boost here is insane. I don't know what to call that lizard. Teal lizard? <laughs> it's a big, it's not a salamander, but. Oh, but we have to get through coma gates. Fuck. Okay. Shit, we can't leave here until we raise our coma up. Which means we have to find a shelter. I guess that's where we have to rest. Um, this takes us back here. Uh, wait. Have we been here? Yeah, this is all the way back here. But okay, I remember. If we don't have to worry about the rain... Oh, maybe it's... I think I see what's happening. I think I understand the mechanic. I think increasingly frequent floods... is maybe... Where does so much water come from? 
Uh, the innovators. You know those alien people? That have been here from time to time? Uh, five pebbles looks to the moon. They need large amounts of water to, like, live. So they repeatedly flood the world. Okay, since we can't drown... We can just... We don't really have to care about this, right? We can just... Swim. And we want to go down to the shelter. We were fully aqua Oh, the shelter is... Closed? Uh-oh. Hold on, is that... Rivulet specific? That could be awkward. Is that because it's flooding? Or is that because I've rested at that shelter already? Oh, and I guess we can drown because we're about to drown. We just have a very long amount of breath underwater. Okay. I think we just drown here. Huh. Let's look at this. Interesting. The shelter is closed after I rested at it. I wonder if that's going to be true of every shelter going forward. But fuck, that means I can't... Get out of here, damn it. I would have to raise my karma to the maximum level to get through that gate. I don't know where a second... Uh... Thing is, it's it takes me a long time to drown, but I think stopping for breath is still a good idea. I see you, Vajota. Come on. I think this is the way out of the drainage system. I wonder what's through that karma gate, but I mean, I can't get there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Vajota. Okay. Got maximum food. Do we have anything in our stomach? Oh, we do. We spawned with a pearl. Okay. Okay, can we get through here? Okay, we can get through here. Good. Holy fuck, look at that backflip height. This is a hundred percent like the speedrunner cap. Um I think I'll rest here. Because I need to raise my maximum coma. This game, this campaign seems like it's going to be drastically different from the other ones. Both in the fact that we are an incredibly fast slug cat, and the fact that the world is just constantly flooding. So we're in the garbage wastes, huh? Uh, 
Uh, I guess we could go see Moon in Shoreline. Because we have a pearl we could give to her. And maybe she'll give us some kind of clue what we need to do. Interesting, I pop bubble poot just by having them in my hand. Surely this thing can't swim. Right? Oh fuck. I wanted that pull. Oh, there was scavenger. I feel like this is the only character I've played as so far that it feels like outrunning enemies is straight up just an incredibly good option. Like seriously, I've mentioned it before, but you move insanely fast as this character. Is this a reworked garbage wastes? I can't quite tell. This feel I don't recognize any of where I am right now. There are a lot of pearls here though. Oh fuck, we got red centipedes? Oh shit. Oh god. Yeah, it's detected me. It's a red centipede. Follow me, follow me. This feels like a rivulet based map based on the uh, mobility required here. Yeah, red centipedes are terrifying as fuck. Uh, okay, there's a scavenger in the water there. Let me try to boost my reputation with them. I don't know why I care that much, but yeah, pick a foot. Keep one foot tall just in case. Uh, we can see what this pearl is. This also might just be the bottom of garbage waste. I can't quite tell. I don't think I have to really take that path. Hey, uh, Svez. Oh god, where is there a shelter? There's a shelter right there! Nice! Okay, good. And there's tons of food here. We'll be fine. We can go to moon like this. How's it going? Pretty well. This cat is intense. Uh... This might be more fun than Spearmaster. I'm not sure. It's really fun zooming around the world, but it was also really fun having unlimited spears. Oh, we could just, like... I wonder if Moon's gonna say something if we just, like, chill with her. In her, uh... Yeah, it seems like... Hold on. I want to put this pearl down. It seems like shelters are either disabled after I rest at them, or they're disabled... Um... For, like, the cycle after I rested them. You recently got interested in this game. Uh... Okay, where did that... Oh, there it is. Oh, fuck you! Dude! You recently got interested in this game, but you don't know anything about it, aside from the looks, what I think about the game? I think it's a very fun game. It is, however very difficult um in a way that like the cute aesthetic doesn't really uh make clear um the game is very challenging we're playing as a special character right now which is obviously going to change 
the game flow. Uh, and I think most of the DLC characters have seemed to drastically change the campaign, at least from what I've seen. How do I get up there? Oh, there's a thing over there, but I can't. Oh, okay, I see. It's from down here. This is like the aquatic slug cap. Um, who can breathe for a very long time underwater and is incredibly agile and can swim. But as a trade-off, uh, the world is super wet. Okay, let me... I'd like to give him that pearl to trade. Or whatever. I make it look easier than what you assume it is. That's reasonable, yeah. Right now, we're trying to get to looks to the moon, which is... Oh, jeez. Okay. God damn, I can't be out there. Can I? Lizard's gonna come for me. Okay. Here, take the pull. Can I go through? Okay, they're passing me through. Oh, wait, no, they're not. I thought they were waving me through. Fuck, I think they were just distorting. Because of the, uh... Damn it. That was a toll. Um, those scavengers set up tolls uh, and require you to pay pearls before you can pass through them. Uh, and I give them a pearl, and normally they have a particular body language that they do when they're waving you through, where they raise their arm up. And I thought they were doing that, but I think I just misinterpreted what they were doing, and it was actually like the rain that was distorting their bodies. Yeah, this character is super fast-paced. I think Rain World, if you are, enjoy more difficult games, or at least are fine with more difficult games, I would recommend it. But if you play things a lot more casually, um, it's probably going to be pretty brutal. And you can play the game fine, but you just have to, like... Mind you, of Hollow Knight, is it any similar? I, not really, honestly. I mean, they have similarities in the sense that they're platformers. They both have a particular aesthetic. Here, take the pull. God damn it. Okay. Rest here for a moment. Are you guys fine with me going through now? Hopefully. Can I pass? Please, can I pass? I gave you the pearl. Just let me go. Okay, I think we're cool. Is this moon? The map is so fucking different. This must be really late in the timeline. Wait, or is this just in garbage waste? I honestly don't know. This is a scavenger storeroom. A bunch of explosive spears. Where are we right now? I'm kind of just going with the tried and true go to the right in garbage waste to get to moon. But I don't recognize any of this map. Surely moon or a moon equivalent has to be here, though. Possibly this could be a whole new area. Where is this? Is this like a whole ass scavenger... ...area? This isn't taking me to Shaded Citadel, is it? With a subterranean? I hope not. A shelter here. Do I want to rest at it? I suppose I should. Yeah, the gist of this game is you play as a slug cap, and you need to get food and survive 
making it from shelter to shelter, getting enough food to hibernate, and avoiding predators. The one we're, the cat we're playing is right now. This is very different from the game normally. Like, the, hold on, how do I get up there? Wait, it wasn't even there, it was over here. Yeah, yeah, that's where I want to be. How do I get up there? I just have to throw a spear in it. Hold on, I want that pole. Uh, and then I suppose... Oh, jeez, how do I get that, though? How do I get that? Fuck. We have backflip? I don't know. Fuck, that was the wrong direction. Uh... Know how to? Or we can get here. Then we'd have to Let's see that happening. Okay. Yeah, this level of rain is not normal when playing as other characters. Wall jumping. How did I get over here the first time? There we go. Okay. I feel like resting at that shelter might have been a mistake. I don't know. I don't know how to get out of here. There we go. Wow, that was a tricky room. Can we move on to an even trickier room? I don't want that room, but... Holy fuck, look at that jump height. What? I gotta like refresh myself on the movement tech in this game. Fuck you. Spear stealing asshole. Lizard dealt with. Oh, fuck. Give me it. Give me the pull. Give me the pull. Okay. I think I just went off this way. I don't. There was food off to the side. I need one more food. But... Uh, I don't want to have to deal with that over there. 
Although we could go up here. Maybe this will... Oh, we could make this jump. Oh, but it's starting to rain. That rain is going to knock me down. Okay. Food obtained. Where are we? What is this whole area? This feels like the Shaded Citadel, but that doesn't make sense. Shaded Citadel into the white of garbage wastes? Is it? Oh god, I hope this isn't Shaded Citadel. God, this is totally gonna be fucking Shaded Citadel, isn't it? So we go to five pebbles then. I'm gonna leave the... What are you doing in here? There's a spider in my hibernation chamber. Can I eat it? <laughs> nah, okay. This character is not like Gourmand, Hunter, and Spearmaster. Can't eat predators. Eggbug! Fuck. My eggbug is such a good meal. Fuck! Okay, there we go. Alright, food requirements met. How do I get up there? Can I get up there? Fuck. I'll just go down here. I don't know. I don't recognize any of where I am. Wait, this is the Echo, isn't it? No? Maybe not. Wait, but this is... What? Is there something over here? I guess we go over here. Alright, see you, Gabriel. I guess we can go over here. Have I ever played Omori? I have not. Oh god, it's dark and we don't have a light source. Fuck. Fuck. Let me just... This is probably a mistake, but... I'm gonna go sleep with this lizard. <laughs> Why is everything pure black? Because this is the fucking Shaded Citadel. I don't have a light source. I can't see anything. 
And we're currently hibernating with a blind lizard that totally wants to eat me. And it's gonna fucking rain too. Oh god. I'm pretty much entirely instinctively trying to get through here. Okay, we can kind of see something now, at least. I don't remember all of these mole lizards... ...being here. Where are we? Okay, we got food, at least. It was never like that in your playthrough when we played the main game. You can avoid this part of the Shaded Citadel playing the game. I mean, you don't have to... This is here. This is here. Fuck, how did we... I recognize this area. It was... Uh... I know where I am now. I know where I am. I think... Yes, we go up here. Okay. I think I might be able to find my way to five pebbles from here. I don't like hibernating this frequently, but I also really don't want to go through the dark areas with the mole lizards again. The other thing is, there are events, things that you could do that cause you to passively emit light. Um... Which could obviously help with the darkness. Damn it, fuck, I don't have a pearl. I wish I had a pearl. If I had a pearl, I could trade that lantern. Fuck you. Leave me alone. Yes, it's this way. This is where we want to be. I'm going to drop my spear so they don't think I'm a threat. I'm not pursuing you. I just need to come this way to get to five pebbles, please. I would. I mean, I would, I'd enjoy it if something killed you. I'm not going to kill you. But like, this spider wanted to, you know, make something happen. No. Okay, it was here, and then we go down left. Did you eat Moon's Neuron Fly, Ethan, when you played? Before you came here? Did you what? Um... Eat Moon's Neuron Fly. Did you get the Stolen Enlightenment achievement? Which way is it now? Oh, this takes me back here. Is it down then? I don't like it here. Oh fuck, this is the coalescipede room. Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wait, but there was a path down there? What? I think that's the one I want to take. Maybe? Maybe it's that one. Maybe it's that one. God, fuck, I don't... I'm so lost. God, I don't like the Shaded Citadel. This place sucks.
Okay, you know what? I don't care if I lose reputation. Gimme. No, not that. I wanna... Give me lantern. Give me lantern. Okay. They're gonna be a little pissed off at me. But I wanna see what the fuck is going on. There's a pearl here. We could... We could negotiate with this. This is just a scavenger merchant, I think. Yeah. We're not gonna fuck with him. That's the path to the scavenger merchant. I know we're vaguely in the right spot, but I don't remember exactly where I need to go. It could be right down here. This feels right. Hold on, this is a colored pearl. This room feels right. But then where from here? From here? Yes! Okay, good. This is that coalescent room. Yes, okay. Okay. We don't have any food, fuck. I'm gonna have to ditch this pool. That's fine though. Uh Fuck. We need food. There's food here. I have to deal with this monster kelp. What? That didn't hit it? What? Fuck. Okay, well, I know where I'm going now. I don't think I'll need a light source for it. But let's see. Can we eat lantern mice? What did I successfully get tentacled from the water? Uh, I didn't throw my spear into it. I thought I did, but apparently I missed my spear. Okay, let me see. I wanna... I remember a slug cat, right? It's a mouse. Eat the... Maybe not. Get off me. We will take this pearl, and I will give it to the scavenger merchant here to get a lantern. The lantern, please. Thank you. Okay, and then we got up there. Fuck. Okay, let me check with this one. Or not. Whatever. They were plants there. Oh, there's a bat. Uh, or bat, bat fly. Yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Wait, I didn't pick it up. Fuck. There we go. Okay, and it was down here. God, I hate being in the Shaded Citadel. There are plenty of areas I like. This is not one of them. Okay, 
get Old Lantern back. It's dead now. I have to move it though. It's blocking the hole. Okay. I have to deal with this monster kill. Which we should, in theory, be able to do. We need to be able to eat these plants. It's the thing. How are these missing? Are they missing? Can't even tell. Food here? No. Okay. I think we might be able to just skid past it. Okay. We a fast, fast cat. It's about to start raining though. It's aggroed to us now, so it knows we're here. If we do this... Okay. Okay, there are plenty of these water plants, which is good. I should probably take some with me, but it's fine. Okay, and we're at the memory crypts now. I should hit that shelter. We're pretty much at five pebbles, though. And hopefully five pebbles will tell us what to do. I don't know. I wanted to go to moon, but... Boat still gonna be here when it's wet? Oh fuck. Okay. Unfortunate memory crypts. Fuck. Okay, I guess the Minos birds are gone, and instead we have yellow lizards and proto long legs. Okay, 
the yellow is what get grabbed here. Will they? Can I just juke these guys? No, no I can't. No, I can't. Okay. I thought I could jump far enough. I could not. Okay, that is going to make getting through this area a bit more awkward. A little bit more difficult. It also means five pebbles might be reworked entirely. It might not just be the memory crypts. The whole map might be reworked. Because this feels very... late in the timeline, if I would guess. Let me snatch this karma flower and try to bait them over here. But the yellow lizards don't want to go in the water is the problem, I don't think. Hmm. If I can get that one over here... Oh! Can they get here? They... They went far enough, okay. Memory Eclipse is fucked up here. Uh... Okay, we can go down here. <laughs> what is the rest of Five Pebbles gonna look like then? If it's this bad out here? Minos bird seems to just be gone entirely. Did this fall from the sky? Did it heal me? Okay. We're almost through with it now. Maybe. I have a hard time imagining any of the other slug cats. Slug cats. What I'm imagining right now is this is super late in the timeline. Like this is the last slug cat. The Spearmaster was the first. I have a hard time imagining. Like, assuming the world got fucked up to this point. I have a hard time imagining uh, any of the other slug cats after this are gonna. It's just too wet. There's too much water everywhere. I don't want to have to go through the memory clips again. I'm going to rest here. Next shelter, we get the opportunity. That looks petrifying. What, the long legs? The photo long legs everywhere? Or just like the background? Oh, being in the dark. Oh, yeah. 
Well, the coalesce beads are fucking awful for that. Okay. On to five pebbles. I mean, this must be the path. Hmm. We'll see. What did I think of Hades overall? Hades was good. That was fun. Um, I did think it was on the easier side, but that's not a bad thing. Um, the gameplay was good. The characters and voice acting was good. Okay, I think I just ditched my lantern now. I don't think I need it anymore. I remember being here as the Gourmand, and it was fucking awful. Because there was a white lizard right above me. Okay, now there was a daddy long legs above us. I think that's probably worse than the white lizard. I'm not gonna lie. Put us down there. The day long is less cringe petrifying, more making you cringe. So the way they work is they're sound based enemies. I think they're blind and they just hear you and they react to your sound. You can bait them by making noise in other areas, but they're really fucking annoying. Uh, do we enter there or do we keep going up? What if we just keep going up? <clears throat> god, this slug cat is so fast. I've said it before, but god, it's so amazing. The amount of mobility here is complete. There's totally a daddy long legs up there. I can see the particle effects. Okay. We're going to try to bait this thing down here. Oh, it heard me. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, it hears me. It hears me. It totally hears me. It's fine. We're faster than it. We're faster than it. Okay, this area is going to be fucking rough. There should be a shelter through here, I think. Yeah. Shelter and grappling worms. Nice. Oh, no, that's the shelter's here. Right, I'm blind. Although, do we actually need grappling worms? I don't know if we do. We're probably mobile enough as we are. We have the survivor passage ready. It's probably gonna be a way out. I don't know. Passages are basically challenges that you complete in the game. Um, 
they're also most of the achievements are passages that you do. Um, well, you fulfill some conditions, and then, uh, you're able to, it basically lets you teleport around the map once after you complete it. Um, no, I will try a grappling worm and see how it feels. No, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's slowing me down. Carrying it. We are not a very strong slug cat. Oh, there's a second one? Oh, fuck. Okay, but we can use this grappling room as bait, I think. We put it down here. Yeah, he is coming for me, though. They definitely hear me. But you gotta get up there, though. I'm playing Rain World Cap. Playing as a slug cap. Oh, God, there are so many of these things here. not make any noise? Wait, do we have the mark of communication? We have the mark of communication to start with. Huh, I didn't realize that. Oh, we already fall on food. Okay, well, I'll take this food for next time. I don't think I'm gonna need other items. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh... Shelter this way? I think? Maybe? Nope. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Shelter this way. There's food here, so we can rest here. Okay. There's no one is talking about this. Why does sweet food make you fall faster than salty food? Probably sugar, glucose. How are we getting reputation with scavengers? That doesn't. It feels like there might be a bug with scavenger reputation. Because we just got a fuck ton of scavenger reputation. We have not interacted with any scavengers this cycle. But we got an insane amount of it there. And the same thing happened when we were playing as Spearmaster. Like, all of a sudden, we went from zero to completely full on scavenger reputation. Okay, food requirements met. You fuck get no Okay. Hmm. 
Fuck it, grab me. Shit. Damn it, grappling whip, save me. Grappling whip, save me. Okay, grappling whip, save me. Oh, the grappling whip has the daddy long legs, the other one. Okay, it's the grappling, the grappling whips are saving me. They got my back. Oh, come on, get, get. Okay, okay, thank fuck for grappling whims. I'm gonna ditch it now, but... Because they slow me down. But it let me escape the grab, and it also grabbed onto the daddy long legs and stopped it from coming towards me. Normally, this is an area that normally exists in the in the regular game. It's not nearly this like filled with uh, the daddy long legs and and shit. Um, why did I go in there? Why did I go in there? Hit him with a spear to try to bait him over here. Actually, what's it looking like over there? Are you able to see? Fuck. Come on. Oh, okay, that was a really close jump. We avoided him. Uh, but he's gonna still be coming for us. Oh fuck, and I hear the rain. Feel the rain coming soon. The controller vibrates. Uh, as like a, a warning for the rain. But we're also rivulet. So like the rain's coming in cycles or something? Okay. Oh, I don't like those things not in zero gravity. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I wonder if I could just, like, sneak over those things, because they are sound-based. Okay, well, it's starting to rain. Uh, oh, this is here. How do we get over there? What? Oh, these things. Fuck. I don't know where that daddy long legs went, and it scares me. A lot. It just fucking disappeared. It must have gone to, like, its den because the rain is something coming or something. I'm dead. Fuck. I don't like these... What even are they? I don't even know what to call them. They're not that bad in zero gravity, which is where they normally are. But god, they feel weird in regular gravity, and I'm sure I just have to get used to them, but the problem is they're in really precarious positions where, like, I don't have a choice. Uh, and if I mess up, I just die. Okay, we successfully baited him that time by making noise elsewhere. That was a much smoother run through.
wonder if I can just... Okay, there we go. They lined up really well this time. It's very easy to get past them. Make sure not to die to platforming. Is it, I can't jump off of them? Is that what's throwing me off? I think that's it. I can't jump off of them. I can only, like, fall off of them. That takes me there. This is where we died last time. We get our karma flower. We want to... Huh. This takes me back. Yeah. Uh... Oh, God. What? I grabbed it! There's an area to fall down there. Okay. Maybe I tried to land on that thing. Because I don't entirely get how to make jumps on that thing. Because I can't jump on them. There's daddy long legs there. But if I could land on that. Which, if I know it's there. I feel like there's a decent chance I could... I could get there. Make noise. Lay him over there. I don't even like these no-on fibers in the zero gravity that much. I guess that's probably what I call them. Because that's what they- oh, they're like... Are those sensory organs or like no-on connectings? Between five pebbles, I think. Okay. He definitely heard me, but he's not coming for me and I don't know why. I don't remember a point in time when I was playing through Rain World, especially in Unfortunate Development, where I went, oh, you know what? I wish Unfortunate Development was, like, the entirety of Five Pebbles. It's doable. It's mostly just... It's very... You need to make a, a series of... Uh dangerous platforming things in a row and if you mess up one of them you just die uh i have to do it all over again which isn't awful it's just come on go over there just take some getting used to get off of me grappling one whatever i'll take you with you At least I know that Daddy Longlegs are 
sound based. I would just be fucking awful if you weren't like super familiar with Daddy Longlegs AI. He didn't know how to bait them around. I think I just have to put more work into baiting this one to the side. I think that's the issue, what I've been doing wrong. Losing that karma flower does suck, though. Because we're not really able to grind karma as this character, I think. His shelters close up after we use them. Okay. We made it through this one. So maybe it's still on the ground where I died. I don't know. We'll see. What? Why did I not grab it? What? I just jumped right through it. I either hit it at a weird collision detection angle, and it didn't grab it, or I was like pressing the button slightly wrong, but I don't think I was because I was holding the stick straight upward. Thank you, Enkumiko. Oh, don't grab me. Please don't grab me. Please, what are you doing? What are you doing? Maybe I can just... Okay. Okay. And now... Right side, we don't need karma for anything going in this immediate area, I hope. That's gonna like we would just get like soft locked, I feel like, if there was a actual karma yet we needed karma for. Uh well, you got something personal, sure. Whether or not I answer it, I don't be a different question. Uh, please speak in English, Aries. My pronouns? Uh, you can use whatever you want. I don't really care. Uh, please speak in English, Aries. Just make sure I grab all these things correctly. You do not know English. I'm sorry to hear that, but I've had issues with people coming in and saying very not nice things uh, in languages that I can't read. Uh, so to avoid that, the rules are English only. I think it happens particularly frequently with Cyrillic languages and Russian trolls. Uh, okay. 
Maybe I use a grappling worm. I don't know. Grappling worms weigh me down is the issue. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to go there. What's the rep like with scavengers if I've come across one? You haven't followed too much? Um, not kill on sight. I don't think we started with awful reputation with scavengers as this character. A grappling worm would have helped a lot here. Okay, let's just see what happens. I want to make it to that one there. Okay, okay, good. I just grab from... Oh god, daddy long legs. Is it... Oh no, please don't tentacle... Oh... Uh, what are you doing? 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 No. 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 Go in your hole. Okay. Okay. I'd really like to find a shelter because I don't want to have to do this again. Oh, this is here. It's a weird looking squid. It's a blind squid that uses its feelers to feel around, and... Okay, this is- there's a shelter here. Good. Okay. And we should be at five pebbles now. Yeah, so what's going on right now is... When playing the game normally, coming through this area, you're going through, like, the... There were, like, these alien machine people called iterators that have basically these massive like mechanical body parts or bodies they're basically just giant buildings um and we're inside of him now like making our way through it but what the fuck What is going on? What? The one we're inside of right now is like being... He's got like a disease and it's like corrupted and shit. Or something. What the hell? Um, this place is scary. This place is scary. And I don't know why this is happening or what's going on here. Because each of the different slug cats, there are eight different characters in this game. And each one of them, like, takes place at a certain time in the timeline. And this one is very late in the timeline, and, like, the world is fucked, as far as I can tell. Um. So, like, everything is just going to shit everywhere. Okay. Well, we're inside five pebbles now. Fuck! There is a heavy coma gate here. Shit. Um. Okay. But we have enough... Oh, God, but is the shelter closed? the shelter's closed, then we can't get in here. We'd have to find a different one. Let's see if it was specific to that area where the shelter's closed, or if all of the shelters just close after I use them. Closed and I'm fucked here. Okay, no, we can sleep at this one again. Okay, good. I don't know why those other shelters were closing, but I think this will get us the coma we need to get in there. There's a mechanic in this game called coma, which is that little thing in the bottom left, that symbol down there, and the one that goes up here. Every time you die, you lose coma, and every time you rest without dying, you gain coma. And in order to progress between areas in the game, 
or like to get to different areas, you have to have a certain level of Poma. And the one we need to go in right now, we need to have maximum Poma, or at least five. It's our maximum right now. Which means all those times that we died getting here, um, almost prevented us from coming in here. But we had enough food, uh, and we were close enough, that as long as we don't mess up these jumps here, we can get in there. Interesting, the green shit seems to have stopped. But yeah, the the blue tentacle things are like I forget what they even are strictly speaking. They're like infected versions of something because of Five Pebbles' disease. You still don't just quite understand the game's timeline. So I have not played as Artificer or Saint. But as far as I know so far, I think the timeline is Spearmaster, Hunter. Gourmand, Survivor, Monk, Rivulet. Because Spearmaster goes and sees, like, the intact moon. Um, right before she gets fucked over by five pebbles. And then Hunter goes and revives moon. So he has to be the next one. Um, and then when I went to moon as the Gourmand... Um, she mentioned that her last visitor had been very sick, which I feel like implies, uh, Hunter, because the Hunter is the only sick sl slug cat, as far as I know. Um, and then Survivor is earlier than Monk, and Monk is later than Survivor, and then this has to be, like, right at the end. Okay. Uh, there's a Daddy Longlegs up there. This is a really precarious position to be in. Fuck, 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 fuck! Okay. Damn, low gravity. Okay. If we can get... Okay, if I can eat all of these neuron flies, we can go back there, and rest at that shelter. We have to do that. Because if I die before I rest at that shelter, I don't know how long it's going to be until I can get back enough coma to get back in here. So we have to go rest at that shelter and set our checkpoint there. I don't want to take any zero gravity chances. I am just going to walk back. Okay. Um. But yeah, another thing which you might have noticed right there is neuron flies, which are mostly found in five pebbles, which is where we are right now. Um. Okay, I'm going to wait for gravity to cancel, then we'll go down. The rain doesn't come here in this area. So we don't have to worry about time. Okay, we'll set our checkpoint here, and then we don't have to worry about accidentally dying and not being able to get back here. Yet, yeah, no flies make me generate light. Passively. Which are the things that I just ate in Five Pebbles. Um, which is a huge help for going through the dark areas. Um... Nobody knows why Daddy Longlegs is called Daddy. I thought it was just his masculine and its masculine energy. Okay. And I don't actually know what's going to happen as we play the game with this character. Each of the slug cats in Rainworld, they added five of them. The Gourmand, 
the Artificer, the Spearmaster, the Rivulet, and the Saint. They each have a different storyline and campaign. And they're, in some cases, very different from the regular base game. Like, this is incredibly different um, from the regular game. Uh, okay, I'm gonna eat these flies for food. And, like, the ending for Spearmaster, which we did yesterday, had us essentially delivering Moon's last message to the communications tower. Uh, and then, I think canonically, based on the ending at least, the Spearmaster just goes and uh, chills with Moon until she collapses. Okay. Oh, we're underwater! The Rot Cystic Conduit. This is a whole new area. Okay. Wait, can I get- okay, that was fake. Okay. But yeah, the special ability of the cat win right now- we have right now is they're basically an aquatic slug cat. They can hold their breath underwater for an extremely long time. Um... Not indefinitely, but a very long time. That's a daddy long legs in there, holy shit. Uh, they're also very fast. They can swim very well. Where are we going? And they're very mobile. Maybe down here? Oh, fuck. It's a big ass daddy long legs, and it's purple. Ah. Uh... Fuck, it's gonna get me. Go. Okay, I think that's where we want to go. I had mentioned this before, but these things are entirely sound-based. We want to get in there. But this thing is gonna find me. I think I see the line. Fuck. We are stuck in low gravity, though. Okay, go. Get in. Okay. I hope this is actually where I want to go, because I don't know where I am. This is a whole new... Ah, uh, there's daddy long legs there. Fuck. Get out, get out, get out. Damn it, I'm fucked. Okay. That's basically how those things go, is if they grab you, you die. You can't escape their grabs, uh, but it's not easy. And especially in low gravity, I, I don't think I have any force to resist them with. We can also go down there, potentially. Different path. 
We'll follow this one, though. Generally, if you follow the same path for long enough, you'll get somewhere. I want to wait for gravity so I can get this fly. Those are like the only source of food in here. Where did I go last time? We went this way. Which I don't have to do, but it's probably the right decision. Oh, I don't want to go up there. Right. Okay, I can grab these things on the ground. And we wanted to go down here to the right. Oh, but it doesn't look like there's a spot to... that this connects down. Oh, no, there is. Okay. Is it here? Okay, yeah. I think once gravity re-enables itself, we can quickly speed down there. Let's go in there, I think. Wait, this is here. Oh, fuck. Okay. So, no, I think we want to go down then. Now we're just in. Uh, we're just in the vault. Whatever that means. Is gravity being enabled in this whole area? No. Okay. Fuck. God, I just barely missed time that. I jumped like a quarter of a second too early. I was trying to time it for when gravity being enabled itself. But at least we know now. We don't have to take that long path. There's a much shorter path we can take to get there. you're gonna have less food though but I don't know how much of an issue that'll be oh there's a no I'm flying here there's another one there I'd like to make sure I have enough food if possible This is the annoying thing about going to new areas. It is not dying, it's losing coma. Which then makes it difficult to get to other areas, depending on the coma requirement for the gate. Dying's not really an issue at all, but potentially. I didn't grab that at that time either, like earlier. I don't know why. There seem to be potentially kind of weird 
collision with it in regular gravity. Where did the other one go? Is all the way down here? There we go. I just want to make sure I have enough food, so next time we get to a shelter, we can rest there. We don't have to do this all again. Okay, once gravity disables itself, these flies are going to fall down here. And I can eat them. And we just need one. didn't fall down here. Huh. Maybe I just ignore them. I'll probably find another one somewhere. Damn it. I don't know, maybe if I don't struggle as much, they won't just Instagram you, but... Game scenarios are amazing. When you say scenarios, do you mean like the campaigns or just like the environment or what? Get the, get the no on fly, please. Get the, get the. Why did I? Get out. God, I hate these fucking daddy long legs things. See what I need to do. I don't know where that daddy long legs went, and that concerns me. 
because something that large just disappeared. It's probably right off screen up here. No? Where the fuck did it go? Why is... What is that? Why is... Why are there neuron flanks tied to something? How did I end up here? Uh... Went through five pebbles this area. He is up there. Fuck. I don't know if that thing there is safe or not. I need food, though. I don't want to risk it. Because that could be bait or it could be food. It's probably food. I have to try. It is food. Okay, good. Oh god. Oh, I hope this thing goes away. Not up there. I need to go up there. Stop. Just want to run your cousin back to his house and you see this ultra HD swimming place. It's low gravity. This is five pebbles. Uh, interior now. If I get on that thing there, I could. Okay, come on, get in the, get in the hole. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Fuck. Okay, this is fine. We can line this up. Low gravity. And directly up. Damn it. God, I need to get in there. Okay, this should... Okay. Stand here, jump directly up. There we go. Oh, God. Uh, I still don't trust that thing. We have enough food. Shelter? Shelter? Please shelter? No? Okay, no, they're safe. Good. Did you ever make it to five pebbles, Ethan? When you played the game? Because the low gravity isn't new. It's just the area being fucked up is. I don't even know what it is. Fuck! No! Fuck you! Okay. We escaped the grab. I didn't realize it was on that side of the wall, too. Okay, in the hole. Okay, there is a shelter right there. Please, for the love of God, get in the shelter. Okay. Okay. This place is rough. My reputation with the scavengers keeps going up, and I don't know why. I feel like that's a bug. Unless they implemented some kind of system where... Like, if you have positive reputation... Over time, your reputation will raise. 
when you don't interact with them at all. But that feels weird. This thing's 100% gonna kill me. Like... Yeah, we're dead now. I don't even know how to, in that situation, get past that. Is he here again? Do I have to do it quickly? Do I have to do it quickly in regular gravity? Before it can react. Okay. Wait, there's another shelter here? What the fuck? Wait, this takes us back to Cystic Conduit. I think we want to go in that sh tunnel that was right where the Daddy Long Legs was. I think that's where we want to be. Daddy long legs? Oh, it was. Okay. Apparently, I distracted it when I ran. It followed me over there. Okay, this is fine. You just wait. Line ourselves up and jump straight up. Have enough food, you don't have to worry about getting any. Okay, I don't see any daddy long legs here. This actually looks fairly. Is gravity gonna turn back on off? There we go. Looks fairly safe. Okay, it doesn't look safe anymore. Anything down here? There's an unlock. Yeah, sure. I'll bite. Good thing rain doesn't happen in here. Okay, we're dead, but we got the Daddy Long Leg sandbox unlocked. So it was all worth it. Last time, we baited it over here. Ate food. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Get over here. No, grab onto the thing. Damn it. Put this thing over here so I can get in there. D 
feel what is going on? What is oh there's no left wall, that's why. Okay. I'm gonna eat here. Requirements. Okay. Let me get back. Rain World's got a 1.35 gigabyte update. Like right now. Oh, come on. The daddy long legs went through the fucking tunnel. Okay, uh, next shelter I'll update. That's big. That's like as big as Downpour was. Like it wasn't like yesterday's update. It was one that came out today. Got it now. Okay, uh, next time we hit a shelter, I'll update. See what's going on. Probably all the quality of life stuff that got added in downpour. We'll see. We'll see. I think we want to go down here again. Try to bait the daddy long legs down here. I get in the hole. And then we. Go up here. If we fly straight up, we can grab that. Gravity, please. Gravity! Fuck, we're dead. We're dead. God, the gravity was like a quarter second too late. Okay. Uh, let's see if there's an update. Uh, I don't see an update. Yeah, game says it's up to date. Probably just something in the base game, then. Probably what Sharktail said. Okay. I really hope... Once we leave this area, that we do not have to deal with daddy long legs all over the rest of the world. I really hope it's just this area. See you, Shintetsu. Don't be sorry. It's alright. Thanks for coming. Fuck. Okay. 
Maybe if I make enough noise here. I can attract him down there. Oh, there are two of them. Looks like I baited both of them over there, though. I think they're both distracted over there. As soon as zero gravity comes, we can fly up there. I meant to do it a little better than that. Fuck. I'm going to fall and that's going to get their attention. But it's going to take them a minute to get over here. There we go. Uh. Fuck. God. I really am not a fan of the miss one jump one time and just instantly die with no counterplay. Especially with the low gravity shit. That makes it a lot harder to pull off these jumps. It's not like... I mean, it, it fits with the game, and I'm not, like, super upset about it, but... God, it just feels awful. Going through a ton of really difficult shit and then just instantly dying because, like, you slightly miss... A spaced a jump. ton of noise here. I only see one this time. There's the second one. Okay. They're both going over there. His legs are shaking. Look at him wiggling. Okay, we can just wait for gravity to turn off, and then we can just fall. Fuck, no, but not if I go over here. I need to... Okay. Just following that. Okay. Okay, I don't want to do this in zero gravity, I think. I guess I don't have a choice. Okay. Oh, are we out of the vault area? This looks promising. Oh, I think we are. Oh, thank fuck. Of transform away. Okay, how much food do we have? We need a little bit more food. No on flies anywhere. Things are getting spooky. Things are getting a little bit spooky. Pretty spooked. 
I think those are deadly, right? When powered on? I'm remembering correctly? I think those were in the base game, right? Maybe I'm just completely misremembering. But I thought I remembered zappy laser beams. Okay, then we jump up here. Good thing I backflipped that, because I think that ground was light. Oh, fuck. Okay. We're not dead. Which is good. I need to see what's going on here. Zappy lightning there. I think there was big zappy lightning in the middle, too. This is here. Wait. I don't want to be... Do I? This is the other side of that tunnel over there. Usually we come when playing the game on that side. At least that's the path that I usually take. God, but is this like fully backtracking or is this? I might have taken a wrong turn. I have gone. There's a path down there that I missed. I think that's where I want to go. Okay. I don't think we want to come back to the vault. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Maybe I can... Food? Yeah, we have food. Okay, I think we just wait for power to leave, and then we go run through the lightning zappies. 
I'm still not even positive if these are going to kill me. I feel like I remember them from the base game. But I'm not even positive. And they're making a zap noise, which scares me. I may not even have to care. Okay. It was down there. It's also possible there may be something up. Right down here. But this also looks like it goes back to the vault. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to be in the vault. We just got out of the vault. Okay, I think we bite the bullet and see what's up. See what's on top of that. Anything up here? It's not looking like it. Not yet, at least. left. Oh! <laughs> Top right? I'm pretty sure when playing the game normally you would go that path over there. But there's nothing here. Scary. The scary thing is being lost. We missed a path over there. Go check it. I really don't want to go back to the vault. I really don't like it in there. Down here to the right. One more. Uh, 
There's a shelter. It's probably a good sign. Right? we have the shelter here. I don't mind as much going out to explore those other places. This just takes me back to the war. Maybe we just have to go back and do it, but... Instantly died. I didn't mean to hit exit. On the one hand, I do really like having the new areas and having new things to explore and whatnot, and that feeling of exploration. <laughs> it does lead to situations like this sometimes, where I just have no idea what the fuck is going on and where I need to go. This is a new area. I haven't been in this room before. These are all new places. Come on. The thing grabbed me out of midair. My favorite movie? I don't know. I'm bad with picking favorites. I'm bad with picking favorites of anything. Anytime you ask me my favorite anything, I'm never going to have an answer. I don't know if you've noticed that.
I'm really glad we found that shelter. I think we want to go up, ultimately. Assuming buy pebbles in the same place it usually is, which I don't know why I would make that assumption, but Oh, these are the power coil things. It's gonna huh. This feels promising. Oh, this is just here, though. Oh, wait. I totally can't just touch these. Okay. What about over here? Look, they were making a spooky lightning noise. I didn't... And this just leads here. So where do we check next? Because this all just looped around. I'm gonna go that way. That way feels correct to me. That way feels correct. Takes me back to the rot, cystic, whatever, which feels weird being taken back there. That was like the first area we went to. But, and usually the map doesn't have you go back to old areas. I'm just gonna check. Okay, no, I can't touch them. I knew I couldn't touch them. But I had like bounced off one a minute ago and I thought it. God damn it. I guess it was just like the spot of it that I bounced off of. Okay, we've obtained our food. Flip on a one of these things. I just go straight up here. Yeah, okay. That's uh, damn it. Come on. Okay. It's just because that was, it was exactly what happened at Moon yesterday. Is we went to the right area, and then it felt like we were going backwards. And we had gone back to the older areas. And that was because we had missed the tiny room that Moon was in, in the correct area. And I felt like that was happening again here. Which is why I went back and backtracked. But then I did that. And those ones were the ones that were backtracking instead. I feel like the game just baited me. Look, I need to uh, turn that way. 
you think an area's ending, there's more to it. Well, because this was like exactly the sort of situation that we were at with Moon, too. There were two long, narrow tunnels leading back to the same area, and that area had a, a particular spot we had to go to. And this is like the Vought Cystic Conduit, which was... I go down there, then off there. Go here. Why not? Oh. But we're at the point where gravity is like. Wanna fucking be here? I don't even think we're getting low gravity anymore. The Vaught Depths. Okay, well this is a new area. Which probably means this is where we're supposed to be. What is this game? This is Rain World, Kobe Craft. Can I even get up there? Why is it so cute and scary? I think that's more the area we're in. Let's see what's down here. Let's go in this one up here. I'm gonna keep trying to go up. I think that's gonna be the goal. I feel like up will probably lead somewhere. I think that's where Pebbles usually is. Like I said before, these things have sound-based hearing, so... We can bait them around. Go to this one. Uh, okay, we can't go back up. I guess we go over there. Okay, you don't have much of a choice. We're currently in the dilapidated 
like, ruined interior of a large mechanical being. One that had been- I'm dead. Wait, no, I'm not. Okay, good. Struggled out of it. I feel like you talk when most people when I say this, but I should have a face cam. That just feels uncomfortable. I don't... I can- like, there are games where face cams make sense. Like, if you're playing a game blindfolded, or if you're playing, like, a horror game, or something where, like, your facial reaction matters, but... I'm just playing something like this, I don't... I just feel like it'd be uncomfortable doing that for, like, six or seven hours. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. There's a daddy log next time. Are we back to gravity? I don't get that either, Lollopy. Okay. N uh, promising, maybe? I don't know. It's different. We have a shelter. Yeah, we just- I- I'm not good with, like, facial emoting, either. Like... I'm not- There are some people who have very exaggerated facial expressions, or... are able to play things up really well for the camera. I can't do that. I would just be sitting here, like, with no expression the whole time. Beastmaster. That's probably why it's so popular, because things like that resonate really well, but... Okay, let's get these no-on flies. I still have no idea if I'm going in the right area or not. I'm going to new areas. Which is good. <laughs> but whether or not they're the areas I'm supposed to be going to, to progress the campaign, I don't know. And I mean, strictly speaking, this isn't like a super campaign-focused game. You can just vibe and explore and stuff, and that's fine. That's kind of how the game's designed. Um, but I want to... I want to know what happens with Five Pebbles. We get there. What's going on? Um. This feels like the white area I'm supposed to be in. I am scared of this lightning. So this is like a large semi-organic, semi-mechanical brain thing. And the lightning is like, I imagine, like neurons firing. And that's what... Are we dead? God damn it. They're just like synapses. Why are there odd looking tentacles? I think those are supposed to be, um, neural connections. The long, um, Fibers. Particularly some of the other ones. These are all likely vaguely modeled on, uh, no related things. Is this lightning gonna kill me? I feel like this lightning's gonna kill me.
You haven't played Rain Wheel before, you know there's Rain Cycles, what is the objective of the game? That is a complicated question. That I don't think can be concisely and easily answered. The general gameplay goal is to obtain food and survive in shelters. Now, many of the... God damn it! Many of the slug cats have campaigns and particular objectives and storylines for them to fulfill in the world. Now, strictly speaking, you don't have to do these things, nor does the game really push you to do them at all. Um, but right now, we are trying to complete the campaign for this slug cat. Yeah, the general goal is just to stay alive and not die. And just kind of vibe in the world and survive. But on top of that, the game has... Can you be overpowered in Wayne World? No. Each of the characters has particular objectives, and I imagine each character can probably ascend. I don't even know if that's separate from their regular objectives, aside from Spearmaster. Um, the base game objective would be like to ascend, which is essentially to escape the cycle of constantly being rebirthed every time that you die. Um, Um, but then other characters will have other objectives. Um, our objective? No fuck. What the hell was that? Did you see that? What is that? Is that my hand? What the fuck? My hand turns into like a, an N shape. I'm holding up against the wall and, like, spamming, uh, jump. What the fuck? I got macaroni noodle hands. Okay. I, that has to be because of, like, low gravity and also, like, being pushed up against the ceiling on that. It might even be specific to that one spot. I don't know if you can do that anywhere. Um... Okay. Music is generally a good sign. Somber music. Oh, fuck this game! Stop! I walked out of the- it was fighting! <laughs> yeah, the character I'm playing as right now is a particularly challenging character. That grossly alters the base game that was introduced in the DLC. Um, we're playing as the Rivulet, which is a slug cat that, compared to all the other slug cats I've seen, changes the game the most. Um, we are an aquatic slug cat that is able to breathe underwater for an exceptionally long time, and is also incredibly fast. Just like my movement speed as I'm going around the world is very high, my movement speed underwater is very high, my ability to jump, I can jump higher, jump further, faster, uh, we are very fast. Um, but as a trade-off, these cycles are very short, as far as I can tell. It's it rains all the time. It's not raining right now because we're in a particular area where rain doesn't happen. Um, but under normal circumstances, it would be raining a fuck ton uh, outside. Uh, uh, 
And the world is also very, like, dilapidated and dangerous. As far as I can tell. Hey, Foxy. You want to get the DLC so you can play the fat guy who's painfully who's painful to play because of the absurd obesity. I was playing as the Gourmand. The Gourmand was painful to play at first until I got a feel for it, at which point it became less painful, still a little bit annoying. But you have to understand the character's mechanics, I feel like. Otherwise, it's going to be fucking awful. The character is very easily fatigued. And when fatigued, you're fucking awful at everything. So you have to be very careful about using your energy. But if you manage it, the character seems to have an absurd bonus spear damage on the first spear throw. So you can one-shot like most lizards, which I don't think any other character is capable of doing. But it's very high risk, high reward, because if you miss the shot, you're going to be fatigued and it's going to be very difficult to escape or do follow-up attacks. But overall, it was it was pretty rough, especially at the start. Playing as that character. Damn it! All right, I'm gonna go on the other side this time. I don't like that area. Maybe the other one won't have a thing in such an awful spot. Yeah, we're in a, the area wind right now does not show off the game very well. This is a very specific area that breaks a lot of rules in the rest of the game. Namely, like, there are basically no predators anywhere. Um, there's no rain cycle, because uh, it doesn't rain in here. Uh, it's low gravity. Yeah, Rain World's a difficult game to compare to other things. At its core, it's a survival game, but it's a very specific type of survival game. It's very unforgiving and difficult. It's hard to draw comparison. I'm doing pretty well, Quoxy. How are you? Um, I can't think of another game that I would be like, if you liked this game, you would like Rain World. Or if this type of game is the type of game you like, you would like Rain World. You could edit videos, or you could just download Rain World right now, and you think you can take the latter option. Okay, just be wary. <clears throat> also, you might have to beat the base game to unlock the Gourmand. I'm not sure how the DLC characters work. I heard somebody mention something about not having all of them unlocked, because they needed to beat the base game or something. I don't really remember. I didn't pay that much attention to what they were saying. Um... Okay, this is a, this is a way nicer route. I can't tell if this lightning is going to kill me or not. Might also just like stun me or something. I don't know. Rain World's a difficult game to multitask during. This is so much nice. There's no fucking daddy long legs the second we get out of the thing. Like, that was way better. Can we just get right here? Oh, it's Pebbles! Is this some kind of joke? I have seen your kind here many times before. To each I have paid little attention. You have given them direction and your wisdom. Yet here you stand, another small beast on the floor of your chamber. You have nothing to offer me that I do not already have, nor are you in a state capable of doing so. You cannot help me. You cannot even help yourself. Always that same blank expression. Familiarity is a comfort, I suppose, though whatever chittering or foolish dances your kind use to communicate your existence. It is clear that you are quite tenacious to make the pilgrimage to me is no easy task, even more, though, even more so for my structure in its current state. You can offer no gifts, nor can you be saved or forgiven for what you have done. If you and your kind choose to meddle in the affairs of passing gods, then I will give you only my respect. Oh, I will give you my only request. Yeah, I can't read. 
Deep within the core of this structure is an energy rail that distributes incredible power. This power is drawn from a mass rarefaction cell. Even in your state, a single shell should, cell should be enough to help. I ask you this. Remove the cell from its chamber and bring it far to the east to a friend if she is somehow still alive. Once the cell has been removed, your structure will begin shutting down. The pumps that allowed me to flush the decay from my conduits will stop and you will slowly die. Aww. You cannot run away from your mistakes forever. There is nothing else that can be done now. Please do this for me. Well, that's sweet. You've made your choice. Okay, is this the... That pearl is an old keepsake from times long past and includes a recording of a short hymn that was popular on the meet among the inhabitants of your city. It is a small comfort that helps drown out the solemn ambiance of the surrounding facility and at best gives some remembrance of better times. It's not much, but you don't have a lot to occupy with my time with anymore. Okay. I don't... Oh! It's the music. Okay, how do I get out of here, though? I can't. Why is this dude attached to an highly unsnappable bone and has an orange stomach? The orange stomach is like his shirt or clothing. Um, he's attached to the highly unsnappable bone because it, it, this is his machine. This is his thing. How do I get out, though, Pebbles? I can't. Hold on. He said to find the rarefaction coil deep inside him. Oh, he's giving us a high five. Can I even get out of here? I can go from here and then come on get up there I see there's the arrow thing there, but that's there. That has to be where we were supposed to go, but how do we get there? Pebbles, help me, please. Pebbles! They're getting close. Do a, a kick jump off the ground. There's one time we had gotten a fuck ton of height off of it, but I don't know how to. Yeah. 
yeah. I don't know how to do that. It's a problem. Get up there, please. He asked us. Can you repeat yourself, please? Have a guess. Okay. This is Pebbles' room. Under normal circumstances. That there is the exit. To the wall. That you leave. And he asked us to get a power cell from deep within. This structure. Which makes me suspect. That we need to go back. Specifically to the depths. Area. Because we went through the depths very quickly, and we didn't really find very much there. But yeah, that pretty much confirms this is definitely... I have no doubts this is like the last slug cat. Uh, in the timeline. And it seems like Pebbles is giving his power cells to Moon to help her, uh, which will kill him. Go over here, actually. We can't go over there. I'll check this room out to make sure there's nothing in here. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing here. I was really good, good Bloom's Tower Defense 6s. I was not really a huge fan of Bloom's Tower Defense 6. I thought it was fun for like a little bit, but then it just got incredibly repetitive, and I couldn't stand playing it for more than a couple of waves. Rest here to save my progress in case. just to make sure. I'm also. Uh, actually, no, I'll just sleep here. Back in the vault. We'll see. See what happens here. Worst case scenario, we just explore the new areas on the map. Interesting. We got a tick towards the scholar. I guess because Pebbles read that pearl.
But he didn't want to be the other pearls. God, imagine just being pebbles, O oh moon. Specifically, pebbles. And literally the only visitor you ever get is just like randomly a fucking slug cat shows up to your chamber. I wonder if the it the opus your eye is gonna leave me there. That would be very helpful. before? I haven't. From what you understand, this game isn't a roguelike where you die and have to start over entirely. You have checkpoints where you can keep stuff? Yes. Um, they're more akin to like um Benches in Hollow Knight. Or not even really that, because they're just checkpoints. They're just checkpoints. Um The game state is like conserved when you rest, and any changes to the world will only be saved the next time you rest. So the only time way to make progress is to hit the next checkpoint. I feel like I would have seen if I had found the powers. The fuck are you pointing me to? There's a, sh There's a tunnel there? Hold on. Okay. It seems to be leading me around now. Which is a good thing. Yeah, I it It's a difficult game to give descriptions, especially spoiler free descriptions. But they are just checkpoints. Yeah. And it doesn't really have any rogue like or rogue light mechanics, really. This is down here. Let's not go there. Leading us down there. Yeah, the whole reason the world is fucked up right now is pretty much. Well, when I say fucked up, I mean compared to the other campaigns in a very bad state. Uh, the reason for that, I'm pretty sure, is just because of five pebbles. 
meaning why everything is like uh oh there we go okay it's leading us there good this is where we want to be thank fucking god to take the alternative path here and then lower it somewhere. I feel like that's the only way this will happen. Because it's completely blocking my path there. It was here, right? Yeah. Here and then down here. Hang on, it's trying to lead me over there. Sure, I'll bite. Linear systems rail, okay. New area is a good sign. Okay, shelter. I wonder if this will be like um, Spearmaster's ending again, where the ending is just the slug cat lives with the moon. Okay, it's leading us back here. And I think I want to avoid picking up food. Because if I pick up food, it's going to tell me what a hibernate. I think. Get in the get in the hole. There we go. All right, where are we going? Is it up here? No, not up here. Okay. Let's be back the other direction. Carry these with me, but I'm not going to eat them. Down here? Oh, that's dangerous, thank you. The 
this is here. Okay. Obviously, not there. Stop leading me to a sh- I don't have- I don't want to go to a shelter. I want to go to the power coil. Whatever it's called. Maybe if I drop the neuron fly and stop thinking I want to go shell hibernate. Fuck. There's a second one. Oh, God. Okay, gave him the loop. shelter here. That's fine. Time is not an issue. It's not like the hunter where we have uh, illness and we're gonna just die. We can afford to rest. This seemed to be where he was leading me. Hey, Travis. What is this game? This is Rain World. Which is not an easy game to describe. How far in are we? I don't know. <laughs> because I don't know how long this campaign is. We reached Pebbles, and Pebbles said that he was dying. And he asked us to go inside of him and retrieve his power- one of his power cells to go bring to Moon far to the east. Which is where we are right now. Fuck. I made a lot of noise doing that. And this is Pebbles Overseer. I think is leading us I think what that symbol is is the power cell where could it be though maybe off there to the left I'm gonna avoid oh fuck I already ate food damn it I was gonna say I was gonna avoid eating food so we'd stop showing me the shelters but I think we go back up there. Oh, wait. How did we navigate this area? It was over here. That's right. I'm suspecting the campaign is probably going to end when we reach Moon and give her the power cell or whatever, but I'm not certain. Nor am I certain of how... Oh, fuck. Damn it. We're still in low gravity.
You're trying to beat Mech Dusa. Do you have any advice? I. Make a arena that is significantly larger than you think you need. Line it with asphalt. Use Dune Rider boots and sand. Okay, we're dead again. I mean, Mechdus is just, it's an arena boss. You just need to have a long distance to run away constantly. That's the main thing about the fight. It's like the wall of flesh. You just run in one direction. Um, I mean, the way that I would do it is uh, line the top and bottom of the arena with either sand and use dune rider boots or asphalt. Um, and then just run in one direction and then reverse gravity with a gravitation potion and run in the other direction. Just keep doing that. Damn it, I did it again! Get out! Get! So my opinion on cat ears? Cat ears are pretty nice. But yeah, those of you familiar with the game, in this campaign, Rivulet is very late in the timeline. And... As a result, Pebbles has been, like, completely overtaken by the rot. Uh, and the inside of five Pebbles is absolutely fucked. Uh, the whole thing is basically, uh, un... What's the name of that area? It's like unforeseen consequences, but this isn't, like, unfortunate development. That's it. Unfortunate development. It's like if Unfortunate Development was the whole area, and also a lot worse than Unfortunate Development. Um... Okay, gravity is off, or on. Yeah, yeah, so we can just do that. Okay, I think we wanted to check over here. There's a thing there. Okay, I see. I see. This must be it. Best spirit. Holy shit. Wait, where did it go? Wait, what? Where did it go? Okay.
it's a localized gravity distortion thing? That we pick up and carry. Seems like for a limited time. And it's... Oh, but it also weighs me down. And it also takes up both my hands. Okay, we gotta lug this thing to moon. Okay, and let's go back to Pebbles and see what he... Okay, this is how we would get out of that room. Out of Pebbles' room. We take this here and it would let us jump up to get to where we need to be. Okay. Pebble seems to be out of power now. So he may just be like dead when we get back there. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Holy shit, this thing underwater, we go flying. This thing seems like it would be incredibly fun to play around with. I can only imagine getting this thing as like... Hunter? Because Hunter has a... Uh is stronger, and it wouldn't weigh him down when carried, probably. So it would be even easier to do, like, the regular jumps. Although I guess Rivulet has the higher base jump speed, so maybe it would work out to be about the same. I am really curious to see how this is going to interact with... I'm dead by the way. Okay, no. Okay. It, it seems to have deterred the daddy long legs or something. I'm not really sure what happened. I should not have that happen again. Okay, how close are we? I'm almost back to the shelter. Although gravity's getting a bit wonky again, so maybe Pebbles will be better now? Or at least not, like, completely dead if this isn't the only power cell he had. But there still seems to be some amount of power. Okay. Let's sleep to save our progress. To make sure uh, we don't lose this thing. On the bright side, this thing is way bigger than um, the pearl we had to carry around as the Spearmaster. So it's going to be a lot harder to lose this thing. Very easy to spot. It's going to be a little annoying to feed lugging this thing around, though, because it takes up both hands. Especially with the, uh, time pressure. As the rivulet. Although, I will be... I will be very interested to see how this thing interacts with other enemies. Like, what a, what a lizard does when I pull out the low-gravity distorting thing. Um... 
and how it interacts with the rainfall. The game has enemies? Yes, the game has enemies. Like I said, the area we're in right now is very different from the rest of the game. Once we get out of this area, the game is going to be drastically different from what it was like in this area. Okay, the lightning doesn't do anything for me. This area is, like, pretty much... The only enemies are like the daddy long legs and whatnot. Um, there's really an abundance of food. There's no time pressure with the rain cycles. It's very dissimilar from the rest of the game. You hate spiders? Are you talking about the daddy long legs? They're not really spider-like enemies. They're just... There are other enemies that are much more spider-like. So ones that are actual spiders. The daddy long legs are more of like... Um... Large tentacle monsters than spiders. They're more squid-like than spider-like. Okay. Let's see what happens. Thank you. I suppose this makes us even. What did you do for me? What do you mean, even? Goodbye, wet mouse. <laughs> Send my regards. <laughs> Alright, slug cat confirmed wet mouse. Okay, and now we get to actually leave this area and go back to the rest of the game. Except now we have our gravity distortion shit. So, if I act... Gravity is normal here. Yeah, this works everywhere. Okay, the rest of this campaign might be fucking wild if the game expects us to have this. Right. Let's rest just for safety. Also, our cycle length seems to have increased drastically. Oh, I think... Pebbles had said something like... It would cause him to shut down. And I think maybe it was because of him... Doing all of that, that the cycles had been going wild. And there was the, like, constant waning. Maybe? Because that seems more like a normal cycle length now. So much less painful going through with this than with the fucking gourmand. He was so slow. Okay. Um. Moon. What is our path to moon? We're in the wall. Out of the wall we go to... Uh, 
I know the normal path from industrial complex. If we go wall, chimney canopy, industrial complex. If the map isn't drastically altered, I should be able to find my way from there to shoreline. We could also passage to garbage wastes. But I kind of want to go through the world and see what's different. I'm you. I'm you. I'm eat you. I'm hungry. Get over here. Get. What's up here? Huh. The collision here seems to be broken. I don't think the game expects you to be able to get up there or something. Because I could just walk right behind that. Okay. I'll take the scenic route to get to Moon. Um, I want to see what's different in the world and how this... How things have changed. Call this thing like gravity egg, gravity pokeball. just like jump off the wall and obviously there are some kill boxes in there we could just like straight fall but like just mostly fall with this thing and use it to soften up there's a squid cata there There are a lot of squid gators here. I think we can take this in one trip. You haven't gotten far in this game yet, just to the second area. What area is that? What the fuck? There's not another echo, is there? Is that possible? Well, there are several areas you could go to from the first area. I'm asking which one the second area is. awkward. I try to attract these lizards up here. I don't have a weapon or the ability to carry a weapon while I have this thing out. But I might be able to... Damn it, there aren't any weapons here either. Okay. Lizard's following us. I can bait him around... White lizard's an issue, though. What if we just... Distort gravity, run in. He didn't seem to care that much. 
This is feeling like there's a second echo here. Because this, like, shading typically indicates the presence of an, presence of an echo. Hold on. Let me check over here. No, maybe not, because... Oh, wait, are the lizards... No, they're active lizards. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. How do you deal with enemies in this game? Um, avoiding or fighting them. Generally, avoiding them is the better option for most characters. Certain characters are geared towards fighting. I have a much easier time with it. Oh, it's raining. That's why it's so overcast. Huh. Maybe it wasn't. Hmm. I wonder if we could have taken the back path into five pebbles. As normal. if that would have just, like, worked. Okay. Made it in one trip. Move us here. Probably would have been way easier, because the underhang through redeveloped Five Pebbles area was fucking awful. But everything there looks the same. Like I said, we could passage. You're confused about shoreline? If it's got to do with this character, don't spoil it, because I haven't been there yet with shoreline. If you're talking about... Um... With the Spearmaster, though, I know what's up with that. Yeah, what's confusing about it? What? Like I said, if it has to do with this character, don't. We're gonna be going there, but. Are you talking about the shoreline as the Spearmaster? Yeah, there were spears on the ground. And you can use those spears for several things. One of the main one, main, one of the main ones is uh, fighting. You can also use them to pop these plants, uh, and they have a lot of food in them. So it might just be perpetually raining for the rest of the game. You were playing, and you reached an area called Shoreline. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's confusing about it, El Cafe? Okay, I think it might just be perpetually raining for the rest of the game. Because of what we did to Five Pebbles. Found a blue person with something flying over the blue person. What did you do to it? You grabbed it and ate it? You're a monster, El Cafe. You, you, you're a monster. Yeah. 
yellow lizards in chimney canopy? Okay. Oh, fuck. God, we got center wings too? Especially with how I'm playing the game right now. Uh, evasion is our main strategy. The game is weird right now. Because I guess we're post-monk and most of like the creatures have like died off or been driven off. And then I guess yellow lizards have taken over. Because I've seen a fuck ton of yellow lizards everywhere. Is that the Pebbles Power Cell? It is. Uh, check, Lucas. We're on our way back to Moon now, and we're taking the Scenic Route. We could have passage to Garbage Wastes, but I'm gonna take the Scenic Route. Do we have a spear? Kinda got lost after talking to Pebbles. Okay. Do you know the shelter right below primary cortex? The one right before pebbles, yeah. From there, you want to go like left? Uh... I don't remember much of the specific directions after that, but it was left from there. Yeah, good luck. Uh, the Overseer, Pebbles' is Overseer, will lead you to it. It'll start showing you, like, a Pokeball symbol. That's the power cell. Yeah, thank you. Okay. These yellow lizards are just everywhere. Huh. Okay. Oh, there's one of those things. That was one of the... That was one of the new species of lizards I saw. I don't know what this thing does. It's like cream colored. It spits. Like a red lizard. I don't want to fuck with that thing. I don't have the ability to fight. Okay. I have a pretty good reputation with scavengers right now. I think I have to be too concerned about that. Um... Back this way. Yes, down here. It's a center wing. Okay. Oh god, I hope there's not like a red centipede here. It's a regular centipede. Fuck, I don't have the ability to 
Damn it. I don't have the ability to defend myself is the problem. Evasion is my only option. Hold on. Is that a spear up there? Yeah, it is. I don't know what to do if a centipede grabs me. Because I can't. I just gotta avoid them better. You know what the character looks like? What? Oh shit, we got cyan lizards. An axolotl. I mean, they were basically. Uh, is that a lizard or a centip- Okay, it's a lizard. Keep that in mind. Center wing. Okay. We'll go down here. That's fine. We're safe. Uh, I- Fuck. Okay. God, those things have so much range. I think we can just outspeed him. Thanks to our gravity magic. I still don't know what those lizard steel is. I know they have a fuck ton of range, but they don't have a super lethal bite like red lizards do. Because I had, uh, when I was playing as the gourmand, I had been getting bit by them repeatedly. Um, and just escaping the grab with an item. Okay. Centipede. Aggro. Partially sound based. So if we're quiet. If we're quiet. Where did it go? It's right here! Is there a spear anywhere I can pick up? Okay. I have an idea. Oh, okay, he moved. Good. Damn, another one of the cream lizards. Is it here? No. Other one. Okay. Oh, those creamy lizards are fast. God, there's another one. Fuck. My gravity stabilizer is about to wear off. Okay, uh... Hey, Joe the zombie. Ah, uh, fuck. We avoided the cream lizard. An 
activate this preemptively. Run in. Okay. Okay, and there should be a shelter on the other side too, but we'll rest here. Just in case, don't want to take any risks. Okay, made it to garbage wastes, get through the shoreline, get to moon. Oh, I think we got the passage for Nomad. And possibly Monk and Saint as well. You got mechanics correction you gotta do? Uh, I don't know what that means. Achievement unlocked the Nomad. Okay, so the Nomad passage is sleeping in engineering class. Oh, okay. Is sleeping in different areas consecutively. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to get Monk and Saint as well. Just want to say hi. Oh, hi. I uh, hope the homework isn't too much of an issue. Oh, corrections. Okay, if I avoid attacking anything for the rest of my time here, I should get Monk and Saint passages. Hold on. Is there something up there? No, that's probably just a scenery thing. Okay, we have pretty good reputation with the scavengers. Not high enough reputation to allow us to get through tolls without pain. I don't think we have that much reputation. Which means we will need to drop this thing and then pay a toll by taking a thing with us. Hang on, the garbage waste is looking cleaner than you- oh god. Okay, this is one of the new lizard types. I still haven't entirely figured out how this thing works. It's water based, I know that. It can swim super well. The teal lizard. Alright, we can swim. We're fast as fuck in the water. It's not a spider spider, it's just a spider spider. Whatever, we're fine. Spider spiders are bad. What happens if I... Oh, that is so much distance. If you do the gravity, low gravity thing and then you do a pounce. Center wing? Underwater? I wanna fuck with that. Okay, white lizard, but we can just skid past him. Because we are fast as fuck. Okay, let's hop up on food. It seems like the, um... Bubble fruits are automatically as this character. Okay. The toll to shoreline is right through here. We're gonna keep an eye out for drop wigs. Sometimes they show up here. I don't see any. I'm gonna drop this here. And then walk back and grab a pearl to pay the toll.
Okay, they're waving me through. Okay, and we're pretty much through garbage waste now. Thankfully, this room would be a piece of cake with this thing. Along with being able to swim. Okay. And... On the shoreline. Homeward flower is nice. I'll take that. And we will rest here. Okay. I should get Monk and Saint here as well. Maybe not. Maybe because we died, we lost a little bit. Okay, one more, one more, and we'll get my pizza. Oh, I'm waking up in the water. Oh, it's one of these cycles. Well, it should be fine, probably. Got to remember the way through shoreline. Where did the ball go? I threw the ball in the water. No. Where did the ball go? Oh, it's floating. That's why. with my ability to carry this thing? It doesn't really seem like it. Okay. Is there a lizard there? Yes. It wants the jetfish. Can't say I blame it. We're gonna activate gravity to get through here. Are we starting to flood? Oh fuck. Okay, there's a shelter right here though. Yeah, okay. Wonder, let me check what cycle this is. Because it might be... But then it was also... Okay, we got two other passages. Our scroll might actually not be complete trash at the end of this. Although we haven't really been killing anything, so we haven't been getting that many points. Am I insane? What's the cycle number? Oh, it seems like this wasn't a rain cycle. Maybe it's just random or something. I don't know. Cycle 27? No, no, no. It's definitely not tied to number of cycles. Because it was around cycle 30-something that it happened with the Spearmaster. 
Although it was also the first time we entered Shoreline, I think, when we were playing as Spearmaster, and this was also the first time we entered Shoreline here. I think. I don't really remember that well. It's kind of just perpetually raining now. I like that. I like that a lot. I really like the... feeling that lends the game. We have the danger music, but I don't know why. Another thing that I've noticed... I have not seen a single Leviathan in the time I've been playing. Maybe we'll see one here. But... That was interesting. Uh, Moon's not through there, what? The third one's how you get to Moon. We got time. Maybe you can go through the first one too, but... I know the path from the third one. Let me just take the path I know. Man, we look like the fucking gourmand. Underwater. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's where we want to go to move. We want to go up here? No, but this is a pull. Which would be cool to get and all, but like, I can't carry it and this at the same time. We already have a pull in our stomach, so... Okay, up here. Oh shit, music. Uh, whoa. Fuck. I don't get how to hit those guys. Their tail doesn't seem to have a, a hitbox. He didn't seem to be very good at navigating the world, though. That's the second time I've thrown a, uh, a spear at him, and it, like, hit where their tail was instead of where they were, and it didn't hit them. I know how to get to move. Thank you. We don't need to sleep. We're not gonna die. Not here, we go up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and I think we just swim to the right now. What the fuck is that? It's one of, like, the void shit. Oh, the world's getting all distorted as we're going over here. That's a Leviathan. Hello. Yeah, hey, pal. Um, are we cool? You cool to just let me go? Thanks. Okay, bye. Okay. We have a lot of time. 
Uh, we should be able to just go to moon. We don't have to rest at all. Like, even if it starts to rain, I mean, we can swim. Uh, it's wet here. Wetter than usual. I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the background that looks different. Okay. Let's see what's up with Moon. Let me give her the gravity stabilizer thing. Power cell. Why would you ever want to force hibernate? In case, like, you run out of time at the rain cycle and you don't have enough food. But you don't want to die to rain. That'd be it. Um. Oh. You're a very white moon. What a train chestman you are. Your memory does not serve you well, but it's been a long time since I've encountered one of your species, and none quite with adaptations such as your own. It appears you can breathe underwater. Amazing. You have a lot of neuron flies. More importantly, I wonder what faraway land you have come from, considering the mug that you have been given. Did you meet no significant harassment, or perhaps chasing wind, or even further than that? Uh, I'm assuming other slug cats must have given her neuron flies. I don't know why you traveled all this way, but for what it's worth, the heavy rainfall as of late has begun to recede. I wonder if that means my neighbor's machinery finally succumbed to the decay. He was in awful shape last I can remember, and even that was a long time ago. Perhaps he finally solved the riddle? For his sake, I almost hope so. Ah, in the end, everything reaches the conclusion of its journey. I'm not sure how many of us are even left in this world. A new cycle is already unfolding, one we need not be a part of. We've long outserved our purpose. How much time do we have? We got time. However, as long as the microbes in my processing strata continue to function, I'll be here to talk. What is that? Oh, this is a deeply concerning discovery. Do you have any idea what this is? How do you think I got it, Moon? <laughs> These are known as mass rarefaction cells. They are a type of backup energy source that powered our superstructures in times of maintenance, construction, void fluid, pipe ruptures, and other general power failures. In the absence of our creators to replace deteriorating parts, these cells have become one of the major components to allow our facilities to remain powered. However, the fact that this cell is currently in my hands can only mean bad things for whoever this originally came from. I sure hope you weren't the one responsible for it becoming misplaced. I know firsthand the tragedy of losing this power in the wake of my accident. All of my rarefaction cells were dislodged on impact and washed away in the floodwaters. This cell could be valuable to me, but with my umbilical severed, my overseers running free, and all of my facilities lying deep beneath a large body of water, it would be an impossible task to deliver this to a functional location. Water? 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 You might be able to find an access shaft to my lower structure nearby, but I have no idea how much is left of it. Hey, AJ guy. Please be careful. Here. You wanna read this? Oh. No, I didn't. Moon! I grabbed it on accident! I was trying to grab this! God damn it, Moon! How pissed off is that going to make her? Can I just come back the next cycle and she'll be calmed down? I didn't eat her no on fly. I just picked it up on accident. Die and go back? It's so fucking long, though. <sighs> oh, 
I think we're back in like garbage waste. Oh no, the beginning of shoreline. Go through the whole area again. Unless I could. Hold on. Hold on. Do I not have. What's the special thing about this sluggy? Uh. It is aquatic and also very, very fast. Very fast. Okay, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. We can passage to Looks to the Moon. We have all of our passages. We can just get enough food to sit in this shelter and then we can passage there. And now that we discovered it on the map. Yeah. Scout slug cap. Also, it, uh, it gravity. Is that a leviathan down there? What is it indicating danger of? Is that a center wing? In the water? Is that something else in there? I don't really want to find out. Totally is. It's a fucking center wings of. Oh, it's an aquatic centipede. That one was blue. Okay. We got water centipedes now. Okay. Uh, we're going to pass it to the moon. I'm sorry, moon. I didn't mean to grab you. No, I'm flying. Those shelters unlocked? Unless... Is the moon a separate area? I was just... Because I didn't enter the shelters, they're not. Okay, no, I guess the game just hates me. Whatever. Oh, it's a water cycle too. The rod is literally you. Go away, vulture, please. Gravity powers. Get in the hole. Thank you.
Let's eat these just to top up on food. And then try to speed one getting back to Moon. We have to sit through all of her dialogue again, too. We could rest here, but like, fuck that. Maybe consider resting when we actually hit. Gonna find a Leviathan on the way here because there's usually one on the way to Moon. Maybe not. Oh. Yeah, Leviathan. It's gravity, please. Thank you. Yeah, okay. We're fine. We're fine. Rainbow, good sign. Sorry, Moon, I did not mean to take your no on fly. I just, I needed to... Looks like that up there is probably where we go for Moon. Okay, we have tons of time. We should be fine on that. Can I just give this to you? Okay, I can just skip that dialogue by giving her this. I don't know if me t who this dialogue playing out is important or not, so I'll let it play out. So I'll check what she tells me to do again. I'm pretty sure she's talking about... She said access shaft, and it looks like there's a way to go up there. I'm able to find an access shaft in my lower structure nearby, but you have no idea how much is left of it. Okay. Please be careful. Okay. 
It's a very refined water dancer. This is a highly compressed schematic of an iterator superstructure. Where did you find this? Hope you didn't find a plan to give it to the scavengers. You doubt they would value it as much as you would. Hmm. Let's take a look. It seems this may have been a maintenance order, as one of the linear power rails is highlighted in the diagram with a detailed path of approach outlined. The layout is unfamiliar to you. This is quite different from what I remember of my own structure. It looks as if it is using the newer lymphatic conduit water distribution system. Only the much later models had these. Huh. The only one near here would be Five Pebbles. I wonder how he was doing. It's been a very long time since we were last in contact. Thank you for showing this to me, little creature. Okay. You can just keep it, I guess. I don't... Um... Okay. I see. I see what's going on here. We have plenty of time. Inside of Moon. I guess we're already inside of Moon. We're more inside of Moon. This gravity thing is really fun to use. Okay. Gotta get up there. Place to live? Yeah, this place to live. Flood. Why did I stop playing Cactus Simulator? Um. Why do you think? Okay, I wonder how deep into Moon we're gonna go. This is. I recognize this area. Can I go in here? No, this is still Artificer only. I wonder if that's like an access shaft that connects Moon and Pebbles or something, or, or what? Because the only place I've seen those is right next to Moon and Pebbles. This is the place from when um we came here as the Spearmaster. Uh, this is Moon's uh area. Okay, let's rest here, just for safety, because I don't have to go through all that again. Look, I have a grand total of two minutes played in Cactus Simulator Shark Tills. I think that's two minutes too many. Okay. So, it kind of felt like... Based on that pearl that I was given, that was the pearl that I spawned with. It may be that the game is trying to, or the other iterators, along with Pebbles, are trying to, like, fully revive Moon. Because she said it was the schematics for a, an iterator superstructure, and Pebbles is over here giving her his power cell. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but the fact that we spawned with it is... I am currently, like, being electrocuted by something. I'm emitting spokes. Are you fucking kidding me? But that's the wall! The... Okay, 
I guess I just missed a path. Maybe I go up and over or something, or maybe... I don't know, we'll look more in detail. I have vertical ascension capabilities, so maybe we're just supposed to go up and over. Oh, there's a bunch of, like, weird distortions falling on the screen, too. I hadn't noticed those the first time. They look like what's happening to me as well. I feel like this is definitely the end of the game here. Go up here? No, we don't go up there. Uh... Check this room? I don't know. Maybe that's just food to make sure we could hibernate in here? Um... Where would... I go up here? No, that doesn't seem right. Miss any tunnels? No? Hmm. Go up here, I suppose. No, it doesn't look right either. Currently doing your own of play through the wall was unironically easier than the underhang did a shelterless. The wall is always easier than the underhang. What? When is it not? I don't think there's been any character I've played at any point in time where the wall was not easier than the underhang. I fucking hate going through the underhang. Pointing us over here. Underhang, underhang is even harder with Riff. Yeah, I know. I went through it. I. It fucking was awful going the front way to Five Pebbles. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. have an idea, which is going to be a bit of a detour, but it's the only thing I can think of that would do this, unless I missed something up here. Or down here. Let me fully map out these areas to make sure. I notice the X symbol on that door. Which leads me to believe I may need to max out my coma before I can enter those. Because I don't see where else I would go in here aside from that. I 
I will fully explore this region and make sure there is no part of the map that I haven't touched. Hold on. I'll also see if Moon gives me any indication. Scavengers that come here from time to time leave nothing. I'm. I'm gonna go max out my karma, I think. Okay. Look at me, just four echoes? Wait, what? It's leading me here? What? Was that not the path I was supposed to take? Is there a different... Hold on. Continue leading me, please. You have to take the wall anyways, because Underhang doesn't have a lot of easily accessible blue fruit or mold early on and trying to get the monk for passage point multiplier. Ugh. I found monk to be extremely easy to do. Uh, but I was also taking the scenic route. Okay. Is it here? Is this where you want me to go? Let's see if... That's a shelter. It can't be up here. We'll vest and keep exploring. can't access five pebbles internals from the puppet chamber? What do you mean? There's a photo of daddy long legs covering the entry pipe. Well, the path is just different, right? Oh, you have to take underhang? Oh. Huh. Is it... Please direct me. Going all the way out here? Possible. Because I mean, this isn't the moon's entire structure. Most of it's collapsed. I really thought the one above her was where we had to go, but this thing's leading me over here. Is it? First thing down here? Are you sure? 
surely you can't be all the way back here, right? We fully explore Moon and see if the Overseer keeps, starts pointing me anywhere. say something plot related that that isn't plot related but it's kind of important uh i don't know what it is so i what does it relate to i see something over there this doesn't look like Hang on. Hmm. It's related to where I need to go, but you're not telling me where I need to go, even hinting. I guess? Oh, the Overseer has no clue either? What the fuck is he leading me towards? Why is it giving me the symbol? No, he's not leading me towards Moon. He's giving me the Power Cell symbol. And directing me with the Power Cell symbol, not the Moon symbol. He was leading me to Moon with the Moon symbol, and then after we reached Moon, he started leading me around with the Power Cell symbol. Well, my guess is that we just have to race to 10 Karma to go through that gate. Hey, Graham. Because that's so incredibly conspicuous in the exact area she told me to go to. And I see the X symbol all over it. I'll check through this area again. Make sure there's not any hidden passageways that we're missing. They would show up on the map if, if they were. Are these things leading me? Hold on. Or are they just leading me to the Void Sea? Which is back this way. Well, I haven't gotten enough Echoes, DJ3K. That would be the reason why we wouldn't be able to do... We're at the max combo we have. We haven't... Like, we're not dying at all. Uh, and it's incredibly easy to foam coma. But we just have to go get echoes, and we haven't been out into the world that much. Um, I want to check something. No, I think these things are normally here, and they're just leading me back to the Void Sea. Because those are like the Void shit. Why would they be here now? This doesn't make any sense. Leading me to this. Because this doesn't have anything to do with the Void or Ascending. They're just reviving Moon.
And worst case scenario, we have enough passages, like... We can do that fairly easily. Let's check up here. We haven't been up here. Worth a shot. Underwater? Haven't been down there. Worth a shot. No map change up here. There's nothing up here. Okay. Down here. No map change down here. Nothing down here. Okay. Safely say, it is not up or down there. Hello, Moon. Please tell me where I need to go. No, give it back. I mean, this this is her access shaft, like. This has to be where we need to go. Where she told us... Listen to a dialogue again, I guess. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Okay. We'll just fully map out this area. Make sure that we're not missing anything. And we'll have to go west of the shelter up there. So that's fine. We're probably gonna passage out. Fully explore. Okay. Shut up. Okay. Nothing in this room. Definitely nothing in this room. And there's definitely nothing in the next room either. Mastered the head bonk jump as the uh, uh, gourmand. What do you mean, something else? Oh, every character can do it. Oh, okay. I've only noticed it as the gourmand. That's when you just, like, sit on their head and deal damage to them, or bonk on their head, right? Head stomping is fun? Oh, okay, it's a different thing. Okay. So, X symbols all over the place. I feel like I don't entirely recognize those? From the other ones? Maybe I just never noticed them. You can tell me what it is. What, the head jump? Uh, the head bonk? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. That's weird. I get, like, pushed away there.
Do a slide into a wall. I'm not on keyboard. What is he? Oh, I think that thing where you, like, propel off. I think I remember that. Doing that a couple times. There's something up here, maybe? There is something down there. But I don't see how that would get there. But that's just like those tunnels. That's not meaningful. Okay, let's look at the map. I mean, she talked about putting it in a place past her access shaft. That's an access shaft. It has to be that, right? Because there was nowhere else we could have gone. I guess we didn't fully map out that spot right there. It's also... I have a possible idea. And if it is what it is, I think it's incredibly dumb. So firstly, I'm going to map this out, just to make absolutely sure. Okay, it is definitely not in this room. Which means my next guess... Because this is where the distortions are coming on screen. Things are falling down. be done in these. We get to this room on the edge here. Oh, Z is jump. Okay. There's one other idea that I had. Fuck. That was what I meant to do. Hold on. We'll try it again. I meant to land on that thing. Okay. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Hold on. The idea is that... It's possible, with the game expecting me to have low gravity... That I, like, do a low gravity pounce and get a bunch of distance and there's something off screen to the left that's not indicated on screen. Because there are things off to the side of the wall and whatnot. We go up here. Just do a pounce. Okay, no. I only idea I have is karma. Uh, raising our max karma. So let's think about it. Um. I might want to get some more passages, too, while we're doing this. Um, just in case. 
Um, there's the one in the Shaded Citadel. Yeah, uh, we have not gotten the one on top of Chimney Canopy. Chimney Canopy. There's the one on Sky Islands and Farm Base. Let's see. Uh, where are all the passages? Are the uh, echoes? The I'll just make the clarification of the base game ones, because uh, I don't know if the DLC added any. And there's the one in the Shaded Citadel. There's the one in the wall. Uh, there's one in Chimney Canopy and Foam Aways. The wiki comes in. It's not updated with downforce stuff yet. Okay. We'll check that out. Uh, script. YouTube. Locations. Highest point in Chimney Canopy. Six grains of gravel mountains abound. We already got that. Painted Citadel I don't want to do. A bell, 18 amber beads. Two sprouts, 12. Um... So... Where's the maximum count of 10? Is it four echoes? That we need to encounter to raise our karma to the max level? Because that would be... Uh... How many echoes do we have to find? Is it four or five? Being able to run faster than Sonic on caffeine makes shaded a lot. So pain. We have problems. I don't know where it is in shaded. Is it four or five echoes that you need to max your karma? Four? Okay. The graph was confusing as fuck. I... Okay, I see it's going this way. Okay, yeah, I see. I see. Okay. I was reading it vertically for some reason. Okay. We already have one. Um, Which is going to put us at... Well, no. If we start with this... One, two, three, four. Okay. Chimney Canopy, I know where that one is. Foam Aways, I know where that one is. Sky Islands, I know where that one is. I can hit Chimney Canopy, go to Sky Islands, go down to Foam Aways. I need to look up at... Ex I want to look up a map of Sky Islands. Um, we want to go... Left, that room, and then we go, uh, hmm.
I mean, worst case, we just want to get another one. It's fine. We have enough passages. That room. Then we just keep going left to there, then down. That's the lizard room. I recognize that. I think either one of those paths will work and will get us to the same spot. We either go left or down. With the gravity thing, I'm thinking down is going to be easier. Because those jumps shouldn't be too tricky to make with the gravity stuff. So I think we go chimney canopy, get echo, left to droplets, down to farmaways, get the one in farmaways. Yeah. Okay. Uh... And I think we've actually only hit... Fuck. The only shelter we have is the one at the bottom of Chimney Canopy. Alright. You know, we're also gonna... Uh, what just happened? Okay, that was weird. I kinda wanna kill shit. Go potential more passages. Uh... Let's see. Anything here? The spear. Fuck. Hold on. Dude, fuck. Whatever. I don't have my spear anymore, damn it. That's not a spear? Fuck. Whatever, we'll just go. It's violence time mood. Okay. Those are dead. Yeah, see you, Sharktails. Hopefully... Okay, there's a comma flower here. I would like that. Eat the comma. Come on. I want the comma flower. Okay. Gravity. Thank you. Watch this one's gimmick. Um, it's aquatic. Now, granted, I can understand how, looking at this right now, you might be thinking, uh, it has other things going on, and that's more of a product of the, the storyline, the campaign. The item we have right now. Uh, which lets us... I don't entirely know what the fuck's going on. Uh, or what I'm supposed to be doing in-game. I'm supposed to be slotting this thing into Moon somewhere. Through her act- God damn it. 
Through her access shaft. But I don't know where that... I could not find that. Um, so I suspected, because of a strange looking karma gate that was seemingly in the area I needed to go to, that had some of the red X symbols that imply maximum coma, although not where you would expect it to be. Um, I suspected I may need to max out my coma in order to, uh, I like these center wings. Damn it. We can focus on killing something later. For now, we're just gonna... Hold on. Actually, hunt fat flies while I'm here. So we're going to see a bunch of echoes right now. Yeah, this one's gimmick is being aquatic and very fast. Very fast. We're being slowed down a little bit right now because we're carrying this thing around. But it also lets us... Oh, he stole my thing! Asshole. Fuck you. He died too. Made it through Underhang Owl. Uh, are you into the actual Five Pebbles area now? shelter directly under it. Okay, so like you went through the whole five pebbles rot area and whatnot. Or are you in the underhang? Fuck. About to go to five pebbles. Still in the underhang technically. Looking forward to Oops All Unfortunate Development. Yeah, I thought that area was much worse than the Underhang. That's why I was asking, like... The underhang was annoying, but... The just endless streams of daddy long legs were worse, in my opinion. Fuck. Fuck. Right. Whatever, I said it was killing time. It's killing time. Get over here, bitch. I said get over here. Okay, that one's probably dead. You get over here too. Anybody else? No? Okay. Oh, we don't want food. We could use more food. That's another center wing. A very inopportune location. Vulture coming. Monk gates on because screw sitting in one single five room area for six cycles beginning karma just to backtrack. What? Not 
Not sure I understood that. Uh, and some texture stretching there. Are you talking about, like, the room to get to five pebbles from the underhang? The one with the five karma requirement? Monk gates is a setting change now. It makes it so going through a gate permanently makes it not need karma. Yeah, but which gate are you talking about? All of them? I don't think I've ever had that issue, so I don't really know that I entirely understand it, but it sounds useful. Well, that's not like the first time I played the game. I can't tell if this thing is active or not. Okay, Vulture, kill Santa Wing. Thank you. I had to sit in Chimney Canopy for 10 cycles to try to get the exterior as the Gourmand. I'm still trying to figure out where the fuck I need to go as Gourmand. Last thing I did, I went to Moon. Um, And I'm not asking, to be clear. Uh... I'd gone to Pebbles, he told me to go west, some shit. Okay, we have to come back here. Um, is there a... Uh, in Sky Islands... Didn't Pebbles literally tell me where I need to go? He, like, he vaguely told me where to go, but I don't know what that means. He said he unlocked a gate, like, somewhere. I don't know what that gate is. I don't know where that gate is. Uh, are the option between the wall or is there a oh, hold on let me let me just look at the map chimney canopy Okay, yes, there's a gate right before Sky Island, so we can just go there, then come back. Like, Pebble said something to the effect of, fuck off, go, like, west. Some gate I unlocked or something. Uh... It was not an incredibly direct instruction. And I don't know what gate he's talking about or what area he's talking about, because I don't know of any area like that that was closed off to me beforehand. So I have to go explore where that is. Okay. did tell me everything he needed to know. I I mean, I assume that. Like I said, I just have to go explore the area that he told me about, but I don't know what he's talking about. Like, there's not any area that I've ever been to in the game that I had encountered that I was like, oh, okay, this is the area that Pebbles is talking about. It was incredibly non-specific in comparison to, like, the base game thing where he's like, oh, yeah, like, go to the Sky Islands, then go past the farm arrays, and then to the area down there. Like, he gave me a, a vague set of instructions, but it wasn't really that specific. And I don't know off the top of my head, based on that description, where he wants me to go. I can assume he wants me to go west. And something about, like, being underground. Does that mean subterranean? Does that mean there's a new area, like, west of the outskirts? Does that mean there's something past foam arrays? I don't know. So that's what I'm saying when I'm saying I need to figure out where to go as that character. Because the last thing I did, I just chilled with Moon. Uh, I 
I just skip this by falling down here? Okay, yeah. Told to go west when as far east as possible. I wanted to see what Moon was going to do. And I had a pull that I wanted to give Moon. How was I going to not visit Moon? I also wanted to check and see if the map was different. Because there was the big map overhaul in like, uh, when I was playing as Spearmaster, and I wanted to see if the shoreline was different as any of the other characters. We get a ton of rainbows. I really love the post five pebbles rivulet aesthetic. Just like the perpetual raining. Uh, I kind of want to. Do I care that much? I don't think I care that much. I was considering trying to get more passages, like the hunting passage and whatever, but I just don't think I care that much. Though I won't say no to an egg bug. Fuck! It's gonna feel awful going back to like the other characters, like the Gourmand. I never figured out what this was. Is it food? Okay, it's just food. Okay. Hello. G D L L? What? I assume D L L is Daddy Long Giant Daddy Long Legs? I Daddy long legs. Oh, okay. Am I supposed to know what that means? I... Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know what you're talking about because I went to Five Pebbles, but I don't know that GDLL is. I. I... Okay, so I've noticed, do these lizards have particular names? I've noticed several new types of lizards, but I don't know what to call them. And I don't know if they have, like, official names yet or anything like that. There's the, uh... Let's see here. 
Uh, there's like the cream colored lizard that I saw on outskirts that has like the long range projectile. Like a red lizard, but it doesn't have like a lethal bite. Or it has a less lethal bite than red lizard. It was pretty big. I've just been calling it like a cream lizard. Um. Caramel lizard? Okay. And everyone calls the long teal green one the eel lizard. Okay. Gotta go to droplets. Pump five large droplets. Right down, left, that one down. I think that's all the new lizards I saw. It's the ones I can remember. What is the, the eel zoot's deal? Like, I've noticed it. And I haven't been able to... The one thing that I've noticed with it a lot is... Uh, it would... Um, I wonder if these echoes are going to follow hunter rules. Or if they're going to follow uh, regular rules. It's almost entirely aquatic. Okay, okay, I see. That makes sense. Um, I'd like to eat that popcorn plant. I need to bring a spear, though. It only has two legs? I only have two legs. Give me a spear. Thank you. just entered the shaded citadel? I'm sorry. Don't you fucking... I saw him. I knew he was gonna fucking try it. Hold on. Uh, we are... There. We wanna go that one. Okay. He was trying to kill the overseer and he almost threw a spear right at my face. Center wings. Generally bad at actually detecting you. There's another one. Oh, that's an egg bug. Never mind. Center wings scare me because I can never tell what the fuck they're doing. We should be able to make these jumps, no problem. Ah, uh, almost missed that one because we over jumped it. Okay, and then we go in here. Is that another center wing? Maybe it's just green centipede. Um, this isn't droplets. I really hope this is following hunter rules, because it'd be awkward to find another shelter. Those are baby center wings. Oh god, we are following. Uh, okay. We hit the echo. I guess we have to go back to the shelter now. Was there another shelter anywhere nearby? Uh, if we go down, let me zoom in on this. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll show this. Um, we were in that room right there. Go down here. Down. Right one there. Up. There's a shelter in there. What are the glowing things that run away? Are you talking about in the Shaded Citadel? Those are called lantern mi mouses. Lantern mice. Uh, you can pick them up to provide some light nearby. Um, but they're not like a danger or a threat or anything. Alright. We're in the yellow lizard room. Let's just ignore these guys. I don't want to fuck with them. You want to eat them? Uh, I don't think the regular slug cat can eat them. I'm not positive. I don't like the fact that it's detecting danger above me. Is there a pole plant or something? You can't? Hmm. Yeah, you can pick them up in a pinch for lighting in, like, really dark areas. Um, you could feed them to other things. Okay. I think it was, uh, this room? Yeah, okay. Hello, white lizard. Goodbye, white lizard. I really hope that thing doesn't hibernate with me. I killed a white lizard. I did kill a white lizard. Okay. Let me hit this, and then we go hit droplets. long legs can take an explosive spear and live. I just avoided them. I don't... I didn't really have much of an issue with the Grand... It was it only... I only saw it in the one room. Was it in more than one room? You have no clue and don't want to find out. That is reasonable. That's the rain. It's raining. They are gone, and yet they speak. Neither here nor there. Does that seem familiar? Yes, it is quite amusing for being in your predicament. Off to farmer race. Which is one, two, three. Oh interesting. To get the pilgrim I think we need all the we need to hit all six of them. Not just five. Farmer race is left from the lizard room. Okay. And I don't actually know where this takes me in farmer ways. It's been a minute since I've been to farmer ways the normal way. I'm used to farmer ways starting from where the hunter is. I know that really well. 
Um, I don't know if Miss Path, though. That must be an egg bug. Um, he was just pointing an explosive spear at me. I don't appreciate that very much. Oh, there was a pole plant there. You basically can't. Sounds like the attitude of a quitter. Just be Spearmaster. <laughs> in the thing that only appears in uh, Rivulet. Well, the only thing that I've, the thing that I've only seen in Rivulet, I suppose I shouldn't make assumptions about. Um, it only appearing there. I don't actually think I can fall there safely. Why did I do that? Can I get that thing back? Yes, I can. I just have to go to the proper. Connector, which is down here. Hello, center wing. Goodbye, center wing. What is that up there? That's a vulture? The fuck is that vulture doing up there? Oh. I see what that vulture's doing. Hello. Gravity, please. Thank you, gravity. Okay. The stuck daddy long legs are the worst. They get annoying, yeah. Is there a thing in farm ways? There's probably a thing in farm ways. We don't have food anyway, so we have to go through. On the bright side, we could probably just avoid reindeer altogether since we have this thing. At least in some of the areas. Maybe not all of them. Okay, there's a popcorn plant here. We can eat that. We need a spear, though. Let me leave this here and go look for a spear. Um... Spear? I'm not seeing... Is that one? Okay. I mean, that whole section is a bunch of the very annoying daddy long legs in a row. Oh, I threw them in the wrong order and I got stuck in a hole. 
Because apparently that's not an actual soul. Okay. Whatever. This is what kind of flowers are for. Like he said, oops, all unfortunate development. Yeah. It was not a terribly pleasant experience to go through that. Did I have to go through that one obnoxiously tall room with the daddy long legs in it at all times? I don't remember. Um, the rooms kind of all blend together. If I saw the room, I could answer it, but... Based on that description, I don't... Uh... I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna... I'd like to do some ba uh, Actually, we know the popcorn plants there. We can just plan to eat that. There's a popcorn plant down there, too. I got jump scared by Daddy Long Legs going through tunnels a few times, though. They can travel between rooms. Which I was not aware of. I think I figured that out yesterday, but... Before that, it also might have been a new thing, but... I was not aware they were able to do that. Once you get the stupid cell, you're warping straight to moon. It's not bad going out. Personally, I think it's really fun. Uh, going around the world... With the low gravity. It's getting it in the first place that sucks. I know what I could do. I saw a spear. I could get it with the low gravity and then throw the low gravity off. Back up. Just played Rain Wolf for the first time for about an hour. How was it? The game is garbage, but you can eat bugs 10 out of 10. What makes you think it's garbage? You just joking? Okay, it's down there. That's good. You love being in complete darkness? This is why Shaded Citadel sucks. Unless you have a light source. Oh, whoops. Hang on. Oh, my Kamu flower! It's also spiders. They're not spiders, they're coalescipedes. Although there are spiders as well. But the coalescipedes are the scary spiders.
coalesce to be your spiders too. Yeah, but they're special spiders. You saw just a regular spider. You don't like how the regular spiders aren't the scary ones? No, no, no. The scary spiders are the ones that combine together to form centipedes. Okay, there's the... Caramel lizard? Right? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Reindeer. Goodbye, Mr. Reindeer. This... Okay. I knew I recognized it. Yeah, I know where I am. I know where I am. That's the hunter's starting room back there. I'm debating taking a spore puff inside of me. I won't. As hunter, you go over here. And this was the path I always took as hunter, is the path to outskirts getting the echo. Uh, We will need to rest to hit the echo, but we have plenty of time. And we shouldn't need to use reindeer on this path. And we can get the shelter afterwards because we're going to have to go back and hit it. This should be easy to platform with the gravity. Uh, maybe not with caramel lizard spitting at me though. Didn't really consider that one. Seems like worm grass ignores caramel lizards. Okay, but mother spiders you just don't kill. There is the toll gate. Over here. Mother spiders can attack you? I didn't recall ever seeing them attack you. Me. Scavenger? No, 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 don't you fucking dare. Okay, good. Take it. Can I go? Look, there's a lizard coming. Can I go? Can I go? Okay, he's waiting me through. Oh, is it this one or the other, or the one to the left? I think it's this one, right? No. No. It is this way. Yeah, yeah, this is right. How much time do we have? Uh, fuck. I... Uh... I will hit this shelter. I don't have to. But the timing's a little bit tight, and I don't want to accidentally get killed by something.
me eat these centipedes. Grab this pearl just in case we need it for a uh, scavenger gate. No, oh, give me the. I'm gonna put the pearl in my mouth. I want the. You've wandered into the original unfortunate development. The whole map there was a huge clusterfuck. It took forever for me to figure out where I needed to go. Okay, I know as a hunter, in the original Rain World, you could just jump through this worm grass with no issue whatsoever. I don't know. Okay. We're fine. Oh, hello, spider. Goodbye, spider. Do I have a camouflage? We have a camouflage over here. Uh, this is another scavenger. Oh, wait, no, not quite here. I just think it's ready to attack me. Is gonna things gonna stay here until they hit me? No, okay. Something is over here. I can't see what it is yet. A vulture? Hunting squid caters. Okay, that's fine. Is it down here? Okay. Now we gotta hit the shelter. God, the low gravity jumping feels so good. Okay. You're just looking at your map half the time. Yeah, Shaded Citadel is rough. Shaded Citadel is very rough. Um. The best thing you could do is if you can find a scavenger with a lantern, try to realistically trade with them, but uh, acquiring that lantern. Oh, we did the scholar passage. Okay. Oh, I see, I see what it is. I see what the scholar is. The scholar is sleeping with the colored pearls after you've discovered moon or pebbles. Okay. Good thing Gourmand basically stopped with lantern. Yeah, I was not fucking excited when I started in Shaded Citadel as Gourmand. But having free access to the lantern helped. And so, I have not looked this up at all, but from what I seemed to notice about Gourmand, there were, aside from his food shit, it seemed to me 
like he had a huge damage buff to spears, but spears would also exhaust him every time you throw one. And it seemed to me like very high risk, high reward, single spear throws. Because I was one-shotting lizards left and right every single time that I threw a spear. It would instantly kill them, aside from the tankier lizards. Like, I think magenta, cyan, blue, white, orange. You had the opposite experience? There were times where blues and oranges took two spears. Huh. Without exhaustion. Huh. I noticed every single time... Okay, we're at Max Okay. We'll see... If this was what it was, and if it's not this, I have no fucking idea. How to beat the game is the reveal it. You have any hint you can tell me? Uh, we will see what happens here. And I'm gonna take the path. I'm gonna get this pink pearl reddit moon. Um, I guess to have the unlock for it. Passage is this. The monk. Oh, okay. Read this. This one is just plain text, you will read it to me. <laughs> In regards of the by spiritual splendor eternally grace, people of the congregation of the congregation of never dwindling righteousness, we wish to congratulate this facility on its loyal and relish services and to offer our hopes and aspirations to the fruitful and mutually satisfactory cooperation may continue as long as the stars stay fixed on the celestial spheres and the cooperation continues to be fruitful and mutually satisfactory. What? It is with honor, I, eight sons, countless leaves of the si House of Six Wagons, Count of No Wood Blocks, Counselor of Two, Duke of One, Humble Secretary of the Congregation of Devil Dwindling Righteousness, write this to you. We hope that the crops are healthy and that the productivity of which your facility is blessed leads to further prosperity. Not, may not, as long as the stars stay fixed on the celestial spheres, gray hand and pure blood, inheritable corruption, parasites, or malfunction settle in your establishment. Leaning on the solid foundation of a long-running, fruitful, and mutually satisfactory cooperation, we will take the liberty of stating the reason for this message. We write to warmly thank you for yet another timely and appreciated delivery of your product, Nectar, to our community, congregation of inevitably righteousness, or humble words of can never aspire to describe our gratitude. It's 
Sincerely, and then the name and titles again. It's a confirmation to an automated farming plot that a shipment of beverages has arrived. Backflip up to that pipe. I feel more confident with the wall jump than the backflip. Alright, I have no fucking idea. Uh, give me a hint, don't tell me what it is. Moon's can isn't in one piece anymore. You may very well have to break the debris. A more direct hint than that. I Going to explore things in the shoreline. Okay. I really dislike that this area is accessible to me now. I would rather this was just blocked off to this character. Because I think that is incredibly confusing. It wasn't supposed to be. Well, I mean, it shows up on the map. And I can get here. I think hatching to have that area not be accessible would make this drastically less confusing. Because I feel like it's really uh, evident playing when you're doing it. She's like, okay, there's an access tunnel nearby and you can find something in it. And you look at the map, and you see there's a path leading out of her room. You're not supposed to be able to reach that pipe? Well, exactly, except for the fact that the only situation... Well, the game gives you the gravity thing. Which is exactly what you would need to reach that pipe, or... Would make it... Because that's exactly how you got out of Five Pebbles' this room. Is the gravity thing. Can I get this thing now? I... It, it rolled in here. I, I can't get my ball out. I, I can't obtain my ball. I think I just have to save and quit. Five pebbles is chambered at low gravity. 
It had low gravity for me, but not low enough gravity for me to be able to jump up to the ceiling with normal movement tech. That's far as I can tell. As we tried it for like five or ten minutes. Backflip? I tried backflipping. It was not easy to get there backflipping. I think I could get enough height backflipping, but landing the backflip in the hole was not easy. And I couldn't actually land it in there. I mean, it's a hole in the exact same place as Five Pebbles is. And the game gives you the means to access it. And the only way you would be able to access it... Or it makes sense to be able to access it with the low gravity thing, because that's what the game gives you and expects you to have by the time you would get there. Must not be on this map. Because this screen doesn't go down. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, I have an idea. God damn it. It fucking was what I thought it was. does know where to go. Okay. Two over. We're gonna drown. I was boosting too much. I thought I had enough uh, breath for that. I feel like telling me he didn't know where to go was... ...caused a lot more trouble... ...than anything else. Because he is pointing me there. And that's why I gave up on the idea of... ...going back there, because he said it was leading me to the wrong spot and it didn't know where it was. But obviously it does know where it is, because it's leading me there right now. If you hadn't told me that, I feel like I would have just gotten that naturally, because I would have gone where it was leading me. But I gave up on that. I 
I just thought it was like a bug with the game or something where it wasn't coded correctly. I'm pretty sure the void things are leading me there too. Oh, we know where to go now. Come on, get in there. Oh god, the underwater centipedes. I don't have to deal with those. Here. Okay, good. Hope the game doesn't need me to take the bubble plants. Okay. Oh, she sat at that shelter. Consider this shelter. Okay. I feel like that's the worst part about people telling you things. Is that's part of why like there's the no backseating and spoiler things, or why I don't like them. Like I don't like them to begin with, but it's especially bad when they give you a piece of information. That's wrong. And that causes you to completely change what you're doing in the wrong way. Because you would have done something normally, but then they tell you something that's incorrect. And then you don't do it anymore. Yeah, I know. I'm not blaming you. It's just annoying. Okay. Let's see how long this area is. I don't think I've gotten a name for this area yet. So we'll see. Like it. 
be something down here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what are those? Oh god, is that a centipede? It is. Centipede and jetfish. There's a way down there. Is there an alternative path? Where did that centipede go? I'm not sure, but it looks like it's not here anymore. Gotta pick a direction and stick with it. We might drown here. I don't... We have a lot of oxygen, but... We gotta get... Somewhere soon. Both we're gonna start losing energy to swim. I. Come on, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Fuck. Okay, that's a doable swim, but that's a rough swim. Let's also make sure we get enough food. No. Make sure we don't lose a ball. See that centipede. Right. We gotta swim straight there. Can't really afford any delays. Oh god. Fuck, but it's gonna Okay, it avoided us good. I don't want to use boost because boost is going to use more oxygen and we need the endurance. I wonder if. Oh, right! Right. We swim fast as fuck when you have that thing active. Submerged superstructure. Okay. Let's go down. Are we underwater? Sounds like we are. I'm not positive. Yeah, we are, because the lighting, yeah. Right. This way. Monster kelp. Superstructure fence. 
Is this gonna be under? Are we underwater? No. We're... Okay. Hey, check, Lucas. I got stuck trying to get to Moon. Yes. Uh. the reason I got stuck. Uh, yeah, I finally got here. The overseers just don't feel like cooperating? It wasn't that check, Lucas. It was that somebody told me the overseer was telling me to go in the wrong place and to not listen to the overseer because it didn't know where to go. So then I stopped following its directions and fucked off somewhere else. When in reality, I just needed to go where the overseer was going. Yeah, it was annoying as fuck in Pebbles. Continue playthrough in. Nice. Okay. We must be almost done. Maybe not with this area in particular, but just like in general with this. Campaign. It's probably going to be a, a Spearmaster type thing where Vivula just goes and chills with Moon. Oh. This feels very, um, Void Sea esque. The layout of this. Hey, Puskari. Let me stop for breath. What's the game about? It's surviving as a slug cat. It's probably the best way to put it. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Uh, it's kind of a weird game. It's not like very many other games. I can't tell if these jellyfish are going to actually do anything to me. I ran right into that one, but it didn't seem to do anything. It may be purely aesthetic, but I'm not sure. Get up there, please. There we go. centipede in there. Right, is there oxygen here? There is. Got the cell? Nice. This was the 
Kovac way to go or not? Of course, we'll find out. Submerged superstructure. Okay. What is that? Is that a scavenger? It is a scavenger. Which looks weird because of what it's carrying. Okay. Thematic yeah, thematically and visually, like it's great, but it's just fucking miserable to play. Oh, they're aquatic scavengers? No, it was just weird gravity. Let me check the rest of that room out up there. It's a good thing I have good reputation with them. There's a shelter here. Might as well sit at it. Sit at it. The visual in the menu changes once you get the cell. I don't think I actually looked at it. Too closely. I'll check it again. Oh, I have the, the pole on me. That's fine. Game sure does love quests that involve you carrying objects across the world. At least this object is actually fun to carry. I'm like the pole. I feel like I left... But it wouldn't make sense. Rivulet is more tall than the spear since you can outmaneuver everything. Yeah, the main thing I didn't like about the spear master, the carrying thing. Oh, don't fucking tell me I have to. Okay. There were jellyfish down there. What is going on? Okay. What is. Is there an enemy that's grabbed me or something? Is this a sentient jellyfish or something that's grabbed me? What? There's a jellyfish lodged under there? I think I have to swim down here. Past this leviathan. Yep. Where are we going? Where are we going? Here? 
No? Okay, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. There! Okay. Feels promising. Yeah, the main thing I didn't like about Spearmaster was, you know, Spearmaster's whole thing was having the spears to use and being able to dual wield spears and produce spears and fight things, and it greatly diminished your ability to do that. Especially because you didn't have the interior stomach to carry it the whole time. This is Fuck, we ended up back here. We go down here. Oh, but this is here. Wait, is it? No, this is. See what's in here. Swimming with this thing does feel really good, and I do like it. Okay, I hear that beat again. It's getting louder. I feel like it's a good sign. Wait, but this is... Back here. Try searching in new spots. Okay, nothing here. It's starting to rain now. I don't know how much that's going to influence this.
Maybe there's some more we can go down there. something with the Leviathan was? There was a different thing over there? I don't know where else to look. I think we'll stumble onto it here. It's going green now. up here. area, I feel like. Got the constantly raised question of did I backtrack or did I go the right way? The music is getting more prominent, which generally means you're going the right way. But we'll see. Worst case, we can always just die and go back or use a passage if we sit in a shelter or something. area down here. Oh shit.
Areas all look similar. Have we been here? We have been here. We're just back here. Okay, so we go left this time. I think from that shelter I was at, I was supposed to go deeper down, not back up to where I went now. But I'll run this out, but I'll probably let myself die to go back to that shelter. Anything down here? A lot of leeches. Doesn't look like it. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. the overseer when you need it. It just takes me fucking here. Okay. From the shelter we were at. Wherever that was. Was that that? There's a spot there. We could go do. I think we just want to go back. Also, maybe there. We don't want to be here. I hope. This is where the entrance to the area. Look like there might have been a spot down here to the left. Okay, it's new, so that's good. I hear the beat getting louder. Which I feel like is probably a good sign. Can I stop for air here? Doesn't look like it. They're called by, killed by an invisible lizard. It's not invisible, it was camouflaged. It's completely different. Ah, uh, but yeah, white lizards suck. Is there anywhere to go here? This looks like a dead end. It is a dead end. Huh. Maybe it's just an air pocket. That's why it's here. Too. Maybe these are just the wrong paths. 
and the game is using them to give the illusion of being larger. Like the area being big by looking like it has a bunch of things, but a lot of them are dead ends. And also serving as air pockets so that if you make the wrong choice, you don't just die. Maybe they also just serve as air pockets because this is a really long swim. I don't know if you could make this without stopping for air. Okay. We haven't been here, which is a good sign. Stop for air. Is there any food anywhere here? No, it's bubble weed, but I can't use that. Okay, must be down there to the pipe. Based on the fact that the game seems to be pushing me down a linear path right now, I feel like we could be close. I hope. Because I'm kind of sick of uh, swimming around in these vents. Don't tell me this is back fucking here. God damn it! Okay. I see where... We could have made the turn in the other direction. I like that the bubble food just pop in your hands here. Hey, Ruffles. You're back. We are almost done with this character. Hopefully. With better internet. Nice. Wait, don't tell me I can't fucking get... No, I must be able to. Oh, there was a jellyfish there. I did not see that thing. Okay, I guess that's one way to get back. I do think things like this kind of killed the game's, like, momentum at certain points. Things like this meaning, um, like, accidentally picking the wrong choice of where to go, and then backtracking a bunch. Shaded Citadel moment? Well, the Shaded Citadel is just the fact that you can't fucking see anything. Which makes it even easier to get lost. But yeah. That same sort of thing of like, oh, there's this thing that I'm excited to do. I'm gonna go try to do it. And you go try to do it. And then you just spend forever being lost and... Having to backtrack. 
this was the wrong way, but I don't know if we have the time to turn around now. We have the time to turn around now. It's fine. We're fine. Go down there, I think we go left instead of right. Yeah. The nice part about having an open world game is that there are a lot of different paths you can take to get somewhere. The not nice part about an open world game is with the lack of with a lack of direction, um, you can end up just taking the other path that you were supposed to take backwards. Which really sucks. Okay, down there. Okay. Arena character unlocked rivulet. Game? Game, I swear to fucking god. I swear to fucking god, game. If that... This entire path was just to lead to the arena unlock? You guessing this area is only for this character? Uh, yeah. What's up, uh, Thewin? Remember this channel? Uh... Yeah, I understand that I unlocked the ability... ...to use him. You watch the Bloons Tower Defense 6 livestream. Ah, oh, okay. I get that I used... I... I unlocked him, and I get that it's a big unlock for Arena in Sandbox mode. But, I also felt like I was gonna, like, get to where I wanted to go. I feel like I probably have to go here. Something down here. I see that there. What paths did I miss? There's a path to the left there. There's also a path down there. That... That looks promising. As does that, but I'm not sure how to get there. As does that. Let's see if we can get there first, because this one's right here. And there's also a shelter here. Wanna go in there? There's a path there too. Okay, let's sit at this shelter. Okay, surely I have to be getting close. I felt like that for the past hour or so, or however long I've been here. This is quite a long area with not very much in it. God 
damn it. Get hit, 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 get in the thing, get in the thing, get in the thing, get in the thing, get in the thing! He didn't get in the thing. That is why we hit the shelter. That centipede's down there. I can see the lighting. What is up here? Uh, Lizard! Lizard is up there! Okay, this is promising. I've already been here before. And the lizard's following me. There's an unlock down there. Sure. Let's go get it. What's this gonna be? Sandbox item... I think that's the aquatic centipede? Let's try up there? That's probably gonna loop around to there, but we can try it out. Oh, that is a living creature. There's also a place over there we could have gone. Which probably just connects to this. Okay. Because that's an air pocket. This just connects here. Anything up here? No. I should check these just to make sure. But the first time we went to Moon's place as Spearmaster, we missed one tiny room, which is where we needed to go. Whoa, what the fuck is that? There are two leviathans? I, I genuinely don't know if that was the edge of the screen and it was impossible to go there. Because there was, like, the, the screen blocked me. Or if I happened to go there at the exact same time the Leviathans were going forward, and that they stopped my movement forward. Or if it's just, like, a scripted event. Like, as you go there, two Leviathans show up. Because they showed up so perfectly. Two of them side by side, as soon as I went up there. I 
Alright, we didn't go over here. Kill them? Uh, it's borderline impossible to kill Leviathans. I think, like, they have a coded health value that is obscenely high. And is, like, functionally impossible to deal enough damage to. And then you also just, like, don't have enough time, I think, right? Okay, we haven't been here. Haven't been here either. Man, this area is huge. No, we have been there. Fuck. But we haven't been there. I also haven't been back there. Let's do them one at a time. Let's go that one first. Wait, if we... There's also left there we could go to. Fuck. Have we been here? I don't think we have. Okay. We have been here. Fuck. This is this room. Okay. Okay. Let's look at them. Have we been here? I don't think we've been here. New shelter. I'm lost? Yes. We're wandering around trying to find where to bring Moon's battery pack. It's somewhere down here. This is just going to connect to here, though. Right? I don't fucking know. Everything in this area looks the same. Or a lot of the things look the same. <laughs> there are not very many defining landmarks. Nor is there very much going on in a lot of these rooms. been here. We have not been here. Okay. That's basically the point we're at right now, is the have we been here uh we have not been here. Have we been here? We have not been here. Where am I trying to go? I... 
I'm caring about a battery pack that's supposed to go inside Moon. Somewhere in here. I don't fucking know what I'm looking for. I'm assuming it'll be obvious when I get there. We obviously went in the wrong direction. This is... Well, we could check what's down here, I guess. This takes me here. It's gonna connect there. appreciate the map for calling itself faster. That's the Leviathan Island. Looks like there's an area to the left there I could try out. So right, up, up, left. Let me eat this food. And there's not even anything, even anything over here. Okay. I can go check out the Leviathan Island place more. And if it's not there, I can get myself killed to go back. So maybe I missed something down there. As it looked like a really significant area. Get in there, please. I think I'm going to call that one inconclusive. Are there any other spots that I haven't... I think I'm just going to go back there and try again. Because that's the most significant location I've found so far. Where am I? Up here. Down, down, right. Right, down. I do think having the Overseer down here would work wonders, although I guess it wouldn't make much sense if it's underwater. It's just like Moon giving you some kind of guidance, like... It's in this particular region, or... Something. Give me some kind of idea of what I'm trying to do, where I need to go. This is 
scavenger. I mean. Care about this pearl? Yeah, take it. Take it and move, please. I'd like to. Feeling weird about this. Uh, made yourself some tuna salad? Nice. How much rep do you have of the scavengers when you're the survivor? You probably start with just normal reputation. I don't think you have positive or negative reputation to begin with. You happy that you found yourself a Vivi to play through live? I. Eh. Up until this point, I really loved Rivulet, the campaign. Um, everything after reaching Moon has been incredibly confusing, and I'm not asking for help. I can, I can figure it out. Uh, but. Figuring out where to go to bring Moon's power cell, and then... Finding where in the fuck the power cell is supposed to go down here. Has been very... Very confusing. I'm gonna check the Leviathan Island out again. I'm gonna give them two blue pearl things. Okay, uh... They'll probably be content with you. I mean... I don't think they're gonna... Anything down here? There's nothing down there. God. No, Leviathan Islands are washed. There's nothing over here. Aside from the unlock we already got. Uh, just look at the map. Uh, that's dead end down there. It's gotta be deep, I feel like. Are there any unexplored paths deep down here? Uh, maybe down there? Over there? Maybe? I guess I'll go give him a shot. Uh, we gotta die to get back there, though. We'll just save and quit. I'll try them. Yeah, so the way the scavenger AI is going to work is they're going to initially they're at the point where they are skittish around you and they're not directly hostile, but they don't really like you. And then you reach the point where wait, fuck, this wasn't even Okay. And then you reach the point where they're not really like actively helpful to you but they'll just like vibe and they don't really care what you're doing and then you reach the point where they like try to help you where they will follow you around they'll let you take their things and share items with them um when you're at like maximum reputation with them they will follow you around sleep with you you can pass their tolls without paying um, they basically treat you as one of them. Uh... Down there? 
Maybe? Down, down right? They kill you, but they also don't help, so neat. Um... Up, fight... Oh, oh, shit! Hold on. They don't kill you, but they also don't help you. Yeah. Wait, was this where we came from? I don't know, maybe off to the sides in one of these? Maybe if I go up to the right, I missed a... an area I could keep going to? Off here? No, can't go there. Is there oxygen here? Uh, just give him more pearls and eventually they'll like you. Uh, other ways you can get them to like you, um, they do like some other items. Pearls are just the ones they like the most. You know, generally the easiest to obtain to give them things. Uh, vulture masks, they like a lot. Um. High-powered weapon where you can get you some weapon reputation. Also, fighting with them, saving them from lizards, saving them from vultures, fighting off things with them. Um, King Vulture Masks have the same value as Pearl. Um, I also think it seemed to me like Scavenger Reputation has been kind of bugged in Downpour. Because this has been the second time in a row where I just randomly got a massive spike of reputation with the Scavengers. Because uh, when playing as Rivulet, I just like instantaneously got like half of the chieftain reputation bar filled up and they just like immediately started liking me and I feel like I didn't really do that much with them and with Spearmaster it just went from zero to a hundred in one go and like I had given them a bunch of king vulture masks and stuff because they were easy to get as Spearmaster but not even that many like two or three I need to go rest at a shelter. And I'm going to take a detailed look at this map. In the shelter. To try to figure out where the fuck I need to go. Okay, there's a shelter up there. Cyan friend, the lizard? I miss the lizard. I miss him. He was a very good boy. I feel like that cyan lizard was like the best case scenario for taming a lizard. Okay, it was up here. Up there, then to the right. Cyans were pretty easily and helpful. Yeah, well, the way we tamed it was we saved it from a vulture. I didn't actually have to put any investment in. I just saved it. Have I done Gourmand? I've started playing Gourmand. I have not finished the campaign. Uh, I don't want any spoilers about the way the ca campaign folds out, but I'm familiar with the mechanics of the slug cat. Yeah, we saved the cyan lizard from a vulture. It immediately tamed it. Um, well, that's just exhaustion, right? Symphony. It gets to 
you fatigue yourself by overexerting yourself. Um, it was over here. So, what was I talking about? I swear to fucking god, if it's like in the center of this or something. Okay, no, good. Bowman has the starvation buff built in. Is it food based? Or are you just saying the fact that you fatigue yourself easily, like when you get starvation? The fatigue? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's take a real close look at this map. And I'm using Passage. I don't give a fuck. Where's this? Scholar. Okay. What have we missed? What have we missed? We couldn't go there. Those were dead ends. That was where the rivulet unlock was, which I felt like was... We were going in the right spot. What the fuck? No, that's where we came in. That's where we entered. Yeah, that was the entrance. That spot right there. This is suspicious. There's a path there. It's pretty spaced out from the entrance. There's also a gate there that we missed. And a spot there, but that probably connects to that. Okay. There. Left. Check out what's up there. And actually, let's check out what's here first. Okay. Do I have a spear? No. Yeah, we didn't... When we... Is Shaded Citadel the correct way to go? Yes. Shaded Citadel will lead you... To important things. A particular path in it. Oh, this was just one of the oxygen dead ends. Okay. Particular, a particular area in Shaded Citadel called the Memory Crypts. If you find that area, you are going in the right place. I remember this. We had come here 
but we needed air so we took a different path somewhere. Get up, 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 we're drowning, get up. Okay, now the question of, was that completely in the wrong direction? Or is this where we want to be? Because I got no clue. Uh, and that's a rhetorical question, by the way. I'm something I intend to discover. Okay, can we go up here? We can. Gravity feels wobbly right now. I mean, it, obviously it's wobbly, but... Feels promising. Okay. The music is shifting. There are the like synapses. Like where five pebbles of shit was. Blinking lights. Place looks semi functional. We seem to be following a linear path. Flies. Okay. Okay. What is down here? Squid caters. Scavengers. Shelter. Monster kelp. Let's sleep at this shelter. This looks like a storage, right? I don't know what that means, DJ3K. Uh, hold X, Ruffles. Five pebbles of storage, right? I don't remember what five pebbles of storage, right, looked like. Okay, and we have a, a rain cycle. That's cool, I guess. It's also a green monster kelp. Am I gonna... Be able to deal with this without stunning it? I don't really know what just happened, but that seems like a good thing. It seemed like it took the fruit instead of me. There's a pole here.
Oh, that is a lizard. Get in. Do we have enough food? We don't. We should get enough food. Just in case. I mean, what doesn't look like food, really? What's down here? So it's the it's a different squid cater room. What's over here? Okay, and down here. I don't like the fact that we're back down here. Although, the green synapses, I feel like a... Green electric... There's the fucking filtration system now. Haven't been here, so... You now. God damn it. And look at this map again. Climb back up there without too much difficulty. I could go. There? Maybe? Down there? Looks like where I want to be. Maybe. <laughs> okay, right up and then keep going up. Right side, it's easy to get food here. Uh, we shouldn't. We have enough food to hibernate again.
Yeah, this is what I meant when I was playing Spearmaster. I mentioned how it felt like Moon's area was specific to that character because it had a lot of jumps and platforming decisions that made it feel like the game intended you to have unlimited spears to like lob into walls for platforms. In the same way that like this, like, has zero gravity focused. Uh, or not zero gravity, but low gravity. Okay. Unlock. I think that's the jellyfish. Can we go up here? Okay, no, this looks like it's just the unlock. Okay. So, up. Up, left. This wouldn't be possible with any other character, because you would just fucking die from drowning. That's the other thing, too. It being water-oriented. I mean, this structure very well may exist for some of the other characters. But it would be a matter of getting here and then actually navigating it. That's the issue. Is that the right turn? No, it was up one more. the shelter. This room. We never went in. This is one of the big moon rooms. Okay. Let's eat. This could be where we want to be? I don't know. Really have no way to gauge that at this point. Every room seems to be as much of where I want to be as any other room. Hear music? It's usually a good sign. Up there, missed it. Looks maybe promising? What? There's nothing in this room. What? OK. 
Okay. I guess this wasn't a revealed area, but what have we done so far? The entire game. <laughs> uh, We're just being lost in the final area trying to figure out where I need to put this thing. There's a spot down there I didn't go to. I gotta go rest at that shelter. What? There's a dead end? Why does that place exist? There wasn't even an unlock or anything there. For the sake of time, let me ask this, DJ3K. Am I anywhere near where I need to go? Or am I just completely in the wrong area? I've seen the main place before and no, this is not it. So this is not where we want to be. So this is not where we want to be. Okay. Which of these shelters is closest to where we're trying to go? Because I have no fucking idea. Uh, what am I doing right now? Trying to find where to put the fucking power cell. I've been wandering around this place for like two hours. Can't open your map to compare. Okay, which... Is it this shelter immediately after the entrance? Is it... This shelter down here in the caves place? Okay. Is it... Uh... This shelter in, like, the vent areas. I think these are the vents, anyway. There are two shelters here. They're not too far apart. Yes? This one? Okay. I can... What 
I go there. But this doesn't actually connect here. I feel like this? There are two areas that I see. This path here and this path here. And this shelter is, is better than that one. Because this one isn't actually anywhere near them. You'd have to go quite a ways around. I mean, I guess I could do that one. But I think this shelter is better to explore those areas. I will try this one first. Down, down, right up. God fucking damn it. I knew the beating sound was suspicious. Please get in, get in, just get in. Okay. The game could have clued me in better. But provided... I feel like better visual indications. I heard the beating sound, but the beating sound was leading me somewhere else I felt like. I guess if I had honed in on it more. Probably could have identified it there, but... What the fuck is going? I'm not pressing anything at this point. Where am I? There I am. Okay. This is a... Better gun it? I mean, it's right here. We have... Rest at the shelter, truly enough. Hmm. I miss my gravity orb. I missed my gravity orb. I guess we go pay Moon a visit. Or see what's after here. Kinda wish I had my passages now. It's gonna be annoying to get out of here. 
Oh, okay. Things are getting sparkly. What is this? It's snowing. Cycle 73, bitter airy. Okay, Minos vultures. This must be on top of the moon. Seeing as that's where these things were. I, uh... I don't like... These things. You know, I wouldn't just mindlessly passage out of here, but it would be like, if I checked it and it was back to an area I'd been in, I would passage out. I feel like that was the only area I had really been lost like that in. Say something real quick that isn't super spoilery. It's still relevant. Well, the last time you said that, uh, we spent like an hour and a half looking or doing something else other than what we were supposed to do because you said that the overseer didn't know where to go when the overseer did know where to go and it was leading me directly to where I wanted to go. This is something you know? Okay. Sure. Well. Once I leave this area, I can't come back. I don't really care that much. I could always just like play the game again if I wanted the unlockables here. Like the difficult part of this was figuring out where to go, not actually doing it. I feel like if I were to play the game again, this wouldn't take more than like two, three hours tops to get back here. Like, the vast majority of the time we spent here was just being lost and not knowing where to go. We got to max fucking coma, because that took a while. I do appreciate Snow World, though. Being lost is 90% of rain. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying, like, I don't really care about not being able to come back here, because I... Now that I know how to play the game and what to do, I could just walk back. All you have to do is go to five pebbles and then go to moon and walk down here. Are we have fall hunger yet? Oh, we haven't eaten any food yet. We should probably do that. What's this? Safari region? Must be the snow area. That's neat. So what I'm wondering, and again, these are just me thinking to myself. I'm wondering if this is particular to this... It must be. Uh, the snow being particular to this area because we essentially got kicked out to the top of moon superstructure. Which makes sense. It's called, like, Bitter Area or something. 
which implies we're at the top, and the gravity thing just fucked us off super high, and we saw the Minos Vultures, which we know are at the top of the structure, and this looks like... Do I need to make a spear? Hold on. Oh wait, I could maybe backflip it. I'll just bring a spear. I'm more confident with the spear. Also, as a general note, I like this area significantly more than uh, the last one I was in. Just aesthetically, and the fact that there's actually things going on. I think the main thing that was exhausting about... What's my favorite area up until now? Um... Uh, new areas, or just, like, overall, or what? Of the new areas I've encountered, probably this, this Spearmaster, uh, moon rework, the old moon area. Um. All areas? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it that much. They're actually spirits that like went through the wall there. Huh. It's gotta be something up here, right? Right? Like an unlock or something. Oh wait, there's a door over there. Okay. Wait, this would also mean... That moon superstructure is no longer submerged. Or that the water has otherwise been removed from it. It's possible by... Giving the gravity stuff to her, it like rose back up out of the water? Or otherwise drains the water away? Because if this is super high up to the point that the rain is freezing to snow, It can't be the structure that's, like, half submerged in the water. Have I done the artificer? I have not. I did Spearmaster first, uh, and then... In order to unlock the Saint, I had to do Spearmaster and Rivulet. So, I s did Rivulet next. Uh... I don't know anything about Artificer, nor do I want to. 
Uh, are those scavengers? Yeah. Hello. Is this? I'm noticing the spokes happening around my character again. These spokes were happening when we were on top of Moon's area the first time. In that area that we weren't supposed to be in. Oh, we're up here now. Okay. Get down. Auxiliary transmission array. Okay. Um, I don't feel like there's going to be much to find up here, but, oh, hold on, maybe, I just had an idea, which would explain all of the spokes around our character when we're, like, on top of Moon's thing. Which is... Possibly... There's, like, some message encoded in the slug cat from whichever other iterator sent us here. That's trying to be sent? Unlock. What do we got? Minos Vulture? Uh, where was the... There it is. Okay. Oh, we didn't check down. We go check down. The other possibility, which is one that I had thought of, but wrote off because it seemed very sweeping, is that it's possible reviving Moon or doing whatever it is we did caused some very large change to the environment as a whole to the point that it's currently snowing. Which could also explain... I should have saved my boost jump. Not that it matters. We have so much mobility as this character. Um... It looks like that unlock was what we obtained from here. I don't see... Unless there was a... Hold on. We could have... I do see the rain cycle. Eh, I don't... I don't think going down there is likely to be fruitful. I do see the rain cycle is still going on. Which interests me because that's probably going to turn into like a blizzard. Or like a, an ice storm. Okay, uh, where next? Maybe off to the left there. That was that shelter. Uh, go left. Or just, actually, that one there. And then down left. Uh, let's just go this way. That's fine. Don't connect there. 
Oh, wait, no, that just connects to that. Which is where we want to go. Yeah. The snow can be explained using non-DLC info. I wasn't asking. I'm not asking you a question to be answered. I'm just like explaining my thought process that's going on as I'm sitting here thinking, oh, why is it snowing here? Is this the spot? No, it's further left. You gotta go through Shaded Spider Place? I'm sorry to hear that. Well, we have plenty of food. We don't need to be concerned with that. Your only kill was a blue lizard? I'll be interested to see our, our post-game stats. Uh, we killed a lot of stuff early on. But since we picked up... Pretty much as soon as we went to five pebbles and picked up the gravity thing, we just stopped killing stuff, because... Uh, I mean, my hands were full with the gravity thing the whole time. And in five pebbles, there just weren't things to kill. My score is probably going to suck because I'm just going to lose a bunch of uh, points because of time. Because we just spent so much time tying things around. You have to do Saint now? I don't know what Saint does. You have an arachnophobic friend you want to play this game with because you were talking lore to them? Uh, that could be rough, because this game would hit arachnophobia hard. Like, especially, like, coalescipedes and whatnot. Although, you can skip Shaded Citadel entirely, Eat Sand, if you go the back way to Five Pebbles. Now, granted, you miss out on a lot of stuff doing that, but... Okay, this looks like the exit. A spear. Okay, and this must. Okay. Okay. I understand why the gate exists.
It's still dumb. I've already been here. So now there's the question of do we go to Moon's Chamber? Or do we go back there? I feel like we go to Moon's Chamber, because... Uh... Surely... Oh, we have low gravity. Do we? Kinda feels like we do. Because this would be an incredibly difficult trip to make the other way. Yeah, there's a gravity. Yeah. But this place is also flooded. There she is! Hello. Sleep that once you do this. I feel as if pulled out of a deep sleep. I'm still trying to process all of this. It's been so long since I've had a connection like this with my structure. Everything. Don't give any spoilers about Satan in this chat. I will come with you. Uh, everything is restarted in maintenance mode. It seems that it has sent out the order for all my overseers to return. With my umbilical cable broken, I can't operate my structure directly. But with them working as messengers, I'm restoring some of my same functionality. With any luck, I should be able to. Yeah, here we are. There was so much here, so much you've forgotten. I will never be what I once was, but I'm sorry. It's hard to piece all this together. So much has happened in my absence. I only have unread messages and overseer recordings to make sense of what I've missed. Some of these are even from before my collapse. Which actually means it's possible. Incredible. Slag reset key is a messenger saving me. No significant harassment was never one to give up easy. However, I still don't understand everything else that happened. Has all this been a coincidence? Did others send help as well? Oh, it's the hunter. Hey, there he is. I remember that. I did that. Then there was five pebbles. He was sick even before I collapsed, and his state must have only deteriorated since. He looks as though he's barely breathing. If there's any part of him left, I... We were once good friends despite everything that has happened. He is probably alone and afraid now. I cannot run away from my mistakes forever. Please understand. Five pebbles, what have you done? I've been given so much already, and now you've given all you had left. It does not matter what happened between us. If he still held the same anger he once did, then none of this would be possible. You've been given the chance to make things right, and he deserves to know what he did wasn't pointless. I swear to fucking God, if you're going to send me back there to give him a message, I'm going to throw this spear into your fucking head. Okay, I'm so thankful for everything. Okay. You're at the shoreline now. Okay. This is local group senior Big Sister Moon. Limited functionality has been restored to some of my basic systems. I've regained access to, the, to this communications array for the first time since the collapse. Though my overseers, through my overseers, I've also caught up in some of the current events including what I've gathered by reading through my messages and equipment manifests. I'm already aware of the large extent to which the local infrastructure has deteriorated. Oh, okay, that was the end of the thought. Okay. Uh, you can find important things in the shoreline, Ruffles. The most direct thing you would find would be through the Shaded Citadel. But there are things to be discovered in the shoreline. I don't know if, if sending this message will be a futile effort. Even before the collapse, I could not broadcast beyond the extent of the local facility. And so clearly this forced broadcast is addressed to you, Five Pebbles. Is there any chance that I can still reach you despite the condition we both are in? I need to know. Well, I will probably be playing as the saint tomorrow.
there's a pearl there. If in any chance this message arrives, please signal back if you can find a way. I know it may be uncomfortable for you to address me after all that has happened. We both had a long time to think things through. Any anger I may have had has long since faded. I don't hold anything against you. If anything, we're both in similar dilemmas right now. And as your big sis, you know how protective I am of you. I'm sorry, Five Pebbles. I'll always be here if you need someone to talk to. Yeah, that's fine, Ruffles. Like, draw line's fine. Uh... There isn't, like, an intended route of progression or anything. The whole the game's an open-world game. There's a lot going on. Okay. I'm hoping this switches to, like, the... the Femboy, Catboy, Five Pebbles thing. The Femboy, Catboy, Five Pebbles thing. The outlook that, uh... Yeah, we can go back to Moon. I want to get the Pearl Red as well. The one that we had brought. I imagine we have to... The game has to be enterable, enterable again, because we got a Pearl. Although, I guess I suppose you could, like, take it out and have it red, but... Uh... Oh, interesting. Does the game not actually... Okay, no, no, no. We're... Okay. We're gonna lose a lot of time to time. Okay. Oh, right, kills too. Yeah, yeah. White lizard, two yellows, a cyan. Didn't kill that much, did we? Twenty-four hundred. Oh, no, I multiply. Oh, yeah, yeah. More like twenty-six hundred, twenty-seven hundred, whatever. Twenty-seven hundred. Okay. The rarefaction sell item is now available in sandbox mode. That's exciting. Okay. So, Spearmaster. And, uh, interesting. She's a different color. Uh,. Spearmaster and Rivulet both end uh, as as Moon's kitty cats. All right, I want to go get this pearl bed. Although, what shelter are we at? Oh, we're just here. Okay. Ruffles don't fall asleep here. It's not safe. <laughs> oh, such a small, delicate thing you are. Ruffles, are you here? And yet, you rebooted a gigantic, giant organic superstructure and brought peace between two godlike entities of which you have no understanding. But why? I don't know if I'll ever understand, but in any case, you're always welcome here. Um. For now, though, I have a lot of information to catch up on. At the end of the game, uh, in this ending, Moon names the slug cat Ruffles. Okay, here, read this pearl. Moon, please. I just... Yes, I want you to read it. Okay. I have to give it to you. Okay. 
It feels quite familiar to me. Did you extract this from my memory complex? I think it's the one that you refused to read earlier. It's a large batch of your personal notes and research. It details your 790-second karmic conversion loop simulation. That's where the breakdown of a karmic field's typical bimodal distribution of sensory perception begins. This was the one that she refused to read before. Aww. Hunter! Is there... The iterator Spear Master is with isn't Moon. Oh. Yeah, I suppose that would make sense. There are seven red suns. Or whatever. Yeah, that would make sense. I thought it didn't look like Moon, but then the way the story had ended, uh, Moon had been talking about, like, her final moments talking to the slug cat. That's what made me think it was Moon. Yeah, that's even less of a... Somebody in the video yesterday, I put that as the thumbnail because I thought it was really cute artwork, and then it said something about a spoiler in the comment, and... That is, like, completely meaningless out of context. It's not even, like, any of the iterators you know. It's not even an iterator you meet. It's literally just implying that Spearmaster, at some point in time, like, meets an iterator. Like, what? Okay. Uh, so now... The Saint. Quailin owned with a long tongue... Your journey will be one of perfect enlightenment, but walking this path requires patience, caution, and complete attunement with the world. Huh. Okay. I will probably do that tomorrow. Uh. In the meantime, though, I gotta go eat food. Uh. I really enjoyed Rivulet. The level of information I was given to progress through the game and the design of some of the areas was a little bit lacking to the point where I had gotten very lost repeatedly. Uh... Getting through Five Pebbles' new area, finding out where to go in there was confusing. Finding out where exactly Moon wanted me to take her power cell was confusing, although that was largely because of DJ3K misleading me. Uh, and we spent like an hour and a half getting Max Karma because of that. Uh, the Moon superstructure was confusing as fuck. <laughs> uh... It just felt like, randomly, you would just go in the right one or not. Uh, it was incredibly large. Does that thing have any connections to other areas? Or is that all self-connected? It was huge, and there was not a lot in it, is the thing. That was the other thing that made it exhausting to go through, is it was just swimming through nothing for hours. Uh, was not a fan of that area at all. But then the snow area, that was cool. I liked that. Uh, it was short, interesting. Uh, yeah, that place was nice. Uh, but yeah, I will be back tomorrow with the saint. Bye, everyone.